The Board of Selectmen budget that has been approved all the way through the process of theirs is $26,696,073. I went to them on Monday night, and then I had forwarded to you guys the right. recommendation. So when you add, if the budget committee chooses to put those numbers in, the Board of Selectmen, well, they can't, they're not going to change their budget now, so then it, the total budget would be... I believe it's the second number Jerry gave you, but let me get to the page since you want to make sure that it's right. It is $26,886,962. Give it this one more time. $26,886,962. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for the record, because we've got a lot of things floating, yes. can you break down that differential? I know you gave yes, it to us. Yep, I will break it down. I'm just going to read right off of here so I don't get anything okay. wrong. Can though, okay? you give it to us line by line so we I can will. now add this and make sure what yep. we have in our book corresponds with where they ended up? Yep, and I can probably even tell you what page it is on your OBS if you'd like at the same Please. time. Would that help? Yes. Okay, let me find the right page for us first. It's under... Municipal insurance, the first two changes. Yep. And I will read the whole account number for you. It's uh, on page OBS. Oh, I'm sorry. I said OBS I 7. That. OBS 7. Okay. It's account uh, the three zeros and then 41961 It's liability and general insurance. Uh -huh. The new amount is $430,550. Do you want me to give you all the lines first, and then I can go back and tell you how I came to those numbers so that we don't get confused? Yeah, I think what well, are as you long as we can plug the numbers in okay. to the appropriate lines while we're here. Okay. While it's being recorded. The next one is also in that same section. Okay. It's 41969-2600, and it's workers' compensation. Uh -huh. And the new amount is, or the adjusted amount, is $577,829. Right. This happens to be the same number as the default budget. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That is a good point. It is the same number as the default budget. Yes. And then let me find where the next one is. The next one is under public work, so it's going to be down a little bit. Let me just find the right page for you. Uh, before we move on, did, uh, why don't we uh, total the municipal insurance while we're there at Christie? I can do that for you. You got it right here at your fingertips. Yep, I have it uh -huh. right here. Mm -hmm. And we can do general government, too, please. Okay. OBS 7, let's see. Municipal insurance is uh, $3,949,269. Okay. I'll give everyone a chance to write it, and then I'll... And then that brings general government down to... $9,225,000. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Can I ask a question? Yep. Christy, the municipal insurance I'm looking at the spreadsheet that you included with the default budget. Yes. The municipal insurance reads uh, thirty-nine forty-nine one three three in the default. Why is the proposed different than the default? The total line, you mean? Um, let's see where the difference is there. That's a good question. Because um, mm -hmm. when the budget was made, I have an answer for you. Yeah, when the budget was made, I'm confident of that. <laughs> when we were uh, when we were making the budget, we had to do on the NHMA dues line. If you look at that line, it's seventeen thousand one sixty-two. Yes. We didn't actually have the figure. When we called at that point, they had said that they were expecting about a 5% increase. Since then, we've actually gotten the bill, and the amount is $17,027. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that is the amount that was put into the default. Because that's the amount that we will be paying for dues. 17027 Yes. Okay, so that, that was another change. That number, that's another change. Yeah, so one okay. was proposed, and that's the actual. Correct. Okay, yeah. so, the, so that, should, that line... The 5600 should change to 17,007. Oh, 27. 
which would then make the new total, it would equal the default budget somehow. Yes. Tim, correct? Yeah, if we as a committee make the motion to Right, the board did not shoot change did not change that number. <coughs> If the budget committee would like to change that number. So you make a motion, Stephen, and someone will no doubt second it. Okay, I make a motion that we change that number, um, 5,600 NHMA dues to the new number, $17,027, and that would go under the Bud Common Deliberative Column I, which will then bring the total to the number that you see under the default, uh, column J, which is three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars. Oh, wait a minute. A few minutes ago, I had two sixty-nine. I had two sixty-nine. She just read it off. Mm. Yeah, well, that was the proposed. The default is what he just read. I understand. But he said it'd be the same. It will be. No, that, the For the budget committee column, same. he's talking now about. Now it Mike. makes it the same. Okay. Can I try to rephrase what you said? If you would. <laughs> Please. Legally speaking, the only thing that goes on the warrant or the actual line, not the sub lines, right? Yes. So I'm going to change, make a motion to change uh, account 4196, which is called municipal insurance, mm -hmm. and move that to be $3,949,133. I'll second it. I, I will remove my I'll remove my original motion and second the motion. How's that? Less detail. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think that needs discussion. All those in favor? So. Right. Opposed on that just changing those numbers so that they correspond both columns. So which which one is the correct number then? The new the new the new proposed budget number for for that municipal section. insurance mm -hmm. is Three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three bucks, which matches the default. I understand that. It's supposed to match. I have no problem with that part. Well, that is the new number. I understand that. The proposed that part. budget should the number should be the same as the default. I agree with that. I'm not debating. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how you came up with that number. That's how we did the number it. by force fitting it. Oh, okay. No, I know what he's saying. <laughs> we added it up. No, well, no. Christy gave us three million nine hundred forty nine thousand two hundred and sixty nine dollars we just so, changed it well we just changed it but which one are you giving us the 133 or the 216 uh, 133 it now comes Tim motion they made is it's now 133 I know that that's the motion he made he made I made trying, a motion I'm to change the end and then I'm trying to sort that. out the number that Christy gave us right. versus I was the, giving you the number that was the Board of Selectmen's budget, because I wasn't talking about the default. Then Tim pointed out that the default was different, asked why. I'm, I'm lost, Christy. Okay. All right. When you said a total of the municipal insurance, you were still talking about the number under the default, the new numbers. And you gave us three million. Anybody got a calculator to add up what I, that is? I, I, well, I thought we were talking about the Board of Selectmen's budget, so I apologize. I no, the Board when of I gave you the Yeah, first the Board number. is we're not. I understand that the numbers that are in the default budget are also the same in the Board of Selectmen's budget. They weren't. No. They that's weren't. The point. They weren't. Some so of which one items, is different? Some of, the, some of these line items are out of sync relative to the Board of Selectmen's votes. See, this All is what this last right motion here. did was make the municipal insurance line item synchronize with the uh, most recent Board of Selectmen's vote on both the proposed and the default yeah. budget. I added up all I the line items and they come out right. to that number. Yes. They do 133? Yeah. Yes. 133? Okay. okay. So the 269 is right? in error. Oh, you want to modify I lean to answer your question. The line that changed was the NHMA dues. That's where the difference was. Right. That's right. all I was trying to explain. But I'm seeing that on the default side. You are. Okay. I was just going with what you gave as the end of 269, which was not the end of the column on the municipal insurance on the BOS. Mike, I know what where you were. Okay. Oh, we voted. In, in was, what was All right, we're vote? done. We're done with that. We're done with it. Okay. Can I make another motion, please? If I may make a point of information, just to sort of all we're saying out here. Okay. <laughs> all we are doing, all we can do, is change line items, not subline items. So changing subline items don't mean anything, except to the extent that they affect the line items. I disagree with you in this mm -hmm. case. Is are these fixed now? These numbers are they still in flux? They are. In Christie's. Insurance I didn't number? say anything insurance about number. being fixed. No. Why don't you let me finish, Tim? Because I wasn't allowed to finish. 
Yeah, it's quarter of eight, guys. Yeah, it's exactly. We're not going to be here two no, days. Let's not do this. Please. All right, Christy, on these numbers, on the insurance numbers, yes, which was going to be my it. question as we went along, are these final numbers? We are not going to have all of our quotes and all of our final numbers back in time we probably won't even have them back by deliberative if we do have them back by deliberative then we will make them known so what we have done and i explained it in the memo and i can explain it now if you'd like oh, me to. i understand so what we did is we had at the time when i put this together for the board of selectmen we had received one quote um insurance quote back from one vendor so what we did with that quote is we took the quote and we added 25 percent to the quote the reason that we added the 25 percent to the quote is because first of all we did not have a side by side when they came in to present their they were just in like right before Christmas I believe or right after I think it was right the week after Christmas between Christmas and New Year's when they were in they could not give us a side by side comparison to see make sh to guarantee us that they were giving us all of the exact same coverage that we have with PLT so Fred and I discussed it and based on the fact that we do not know for the quote isn't firm because we don't know if it has all of the coverage nor do we know um, we have to get a cost for tail coverage to cover um, incidents between c the coverage types could be different um, occurrence and claims based and based on that we don't have that cost of that coverage either they have to get back to us with that so with those two things to take into consideration and in having to bring forward a budget and a default budget we, like I said, took the quote and added 25% to both of those lines. Have they been given a deadline of sorts to get to us before deliberative session? Um, we have, um, I don't know if we gave, do we give them an official deadline? I mean, I know they're working on it, but I don't know. Told it before yeah, I believe that they do know that they need okay. to get back to us. So my point being on this, these are estimates or guesstimates, if you want to put it that way. They are not fixed numbers. That's they right. are not definite. But they will ch they're a non-issue of sorts because they will change on both sides of the equation. The only difference is whether or not they change before deliberative. We strongly hope they do. We were hoping to have it be so that we could change that year public hearing, but that isn't looking like that it's going to happen. So Fred is right. We did express to them when the deliberative is so that it could be changed on the floor of the deliberative. Okay. And I'm, I talk to them almost daily, especially. And usually I don't care about the sub line items in that great a detail except that for the sake of us tracking the numbers as we're sitting there at deliberative i feel it's important that we get them right in this particular section because these are not final numbers thank you thank all of you for bearing with yes Tim, you can finish i was saying the only thing that goes on the water is the actual line items not the sub line items so legally that's what we need to put out for motion to motion to all this what they choose to do in terms of sub line items is entirely a management decision. We got nothing to do with it. Relative to some of the sub line items, however, that of course does justify the bottom line line item. So that is has some value, but not for most. Relative to this particular insurance line item, as I indicated, the issue and variance question is uh, li is a liability and workers' comp. And workers' comp. Those two are the ones. The expiration date of those policies that we presently have. June 30th of, uh, well, actually July 1st, like 1201. So July 1st, June 30th. You can readily see the problem in getting a quote six months before an expiration of a policy. It's like, you know, calling your auto insurance company and saying, well, tell me what the policy is going to cost me in six months. They have a clause. We have to redo everything in April, make sure nothing has changed drastically, and they right, can't you know increase. It's just, it's just kind of evident that it's going to be naturally extremely difficult to get a precise quote this far away from the expiration date of an insurance policy. Okay, so that's perfectly understandable. What is not understandable, except for the one exception I will list in a moment, is adding 25% to what is considered to be a reasonable estimate. We don't know that it's reasonable yet. Well, then why would you make it if it wasn't reasonable? Well, because we're using the quote, but we haven't had a chance to compare it side by so side, like I reason, said. There's some reason for the number. Adding 25% to that, and the reason why we're adding 25% to that is because, well, gee, we don't want to underfund it, right? Because what happens if we underfund it? We might not have the money to pay for it, correct? 
we have to pay for unless, it. Unless, unless we decide, let's say, town management decides or selectman decides to take that into as, as label it as an emergency, funnel it to the board selectman, have it come to the budget committee for us to approve it as an emergency expenditure because it was underfunded, and then get the blessing from the DRA, which is virtually automatic when you go through the board selectman and the budget committee getting approval. So instead of wanting to go through, or even risk the possibility of going through that process, we'll just add 25% more than we think we really need. That's how I see why that 25% increase is in there. And you can all yell and scream at me if you wish, but I think that's a quite rational way of seeing why we're adding in potentially more than we really reasonably think is going to be needed. Madam Chair, uh, very complex new contract uh, to secure municipal insurance. PLT has been awarded out of business. Uh, the director, the town manager, the town attorney are very diligent on this. It is perhaps the most important good uh, that the town will purchase with uh, taxpayer citizen dollars. Uh, it's not a good job. Mr. Jones raises his questions. It does appear to be an artificial uh, legal uh, requisite to get information. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that finance and the town manager and the board of select uh, need to do due diligence and make sure that we don't leave gaps in coverage. And uh, the 25% will not be uh, spent elsewhere. If it is overestimated, it will simply be so much and identify the sub. Thank you. I want to do the fifth, the other, there was a Wait. one more adjustment. Wait. Let's go. Sorry. I, I mean, thank you. Just, just to get the bookkeeping straight, so now to the, the general government total changes, okay? So I, would you like me to make a motion that, to change that number? No, that's not a line item. Is it? Well, it's a different, it's a different number now. I mean, look, the right here, yeah. that's going to change. Mm -hmm. We don't so, need to change subtotals. We're just submitting line okay. items. So you know, no, we wait don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Well, we know what we'll do it at the end of the section. Okay. All right. Okay. I and don't want us to get. Yeah. Okay. Scott, please, please, I don't you're putting these correct. corrections in as we go along. They, what I sent out earlier, oh, to you, um, yeah. had them already in it. That's that's the number we. we okay. Have so this is, he's keeping track. Okay. On the computer. That's so correct. that's the question: Is that do. you're going along yes. with this? You okay. what you have is already changed. Right. But yes. you're. As we're going through this discussion, you're still making <coughs> amendments to what you have there. No, because nothing. There's been we haven't much, changed well, anything. I'm sorry yet. that we did with the insurance, so I made that adjustment. That's what yes. I mean. Yeah. Okay. So well, that we'll be able at the end of an entire section to say yeah. to you the total is. Okay. Yes. All right, That's and then we I have the next know. few days to go back and double check, make so. sure that I understand on the insurance, and I do hope that we do see the real numbers at the deliberative session. I would think that now that they've made their presentations. And they have what we, the information that they need that they'll be generating a cost on that policy. What's the other change? Uh, have any other changes? I mean, we, we got had the one more change that was sent. Out. There was a sum of higher. That's that's already been changed. Fifteen thousand two. In what I sent out, yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to change my book now. What is it? Where? It's on OBS fifteen. Mm -hmm. When you get there, I'll read the account number, Mike, and let you know what it should be. Thank you. Okay, that's OBS the Iowa 15. equipment summer. It's the 43122-4410. It's uh, HSB Hired Equipment Summer, mm -hmm. and it's 20200 Okay. So in the budget, should read the same number, right? Yes. Thank you. So 20200 Yes, because we added 15200 to a $5,000 line item. But I guess Scott has already sent that out. Right, you said I, you that has is in what I, you did. I did, but it's not. It, it's not in. It's not your file. No, it's I know, but I'm just saying. So I just want to confuse Mike if he already had it. So. So, what is I don't the? Know who printed it up either. So what is the, what new, is the new total? Now? The, the new total, total is total budget. Yes. Yeah. The total budget that 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 I have. Yes. Uh, is is twenty six million eight eight six eight two seven eight two seven okay eight two seven great I do with that this last. Can you read that off again, please? Uh, twenty six million mm -hmm. eight hundred and eighty six thousand mm -hmm. eight hundred and twenty seven. Could I make a motion, Madam Chair? Mm -hmm. At this time, I would like to make a motion that we pass 
the budget for $26,886,827. I second. Thank you. To pass the budget? That, that I'm recommending this number. Are you recommending it, Steve, so you can go into discussion? For discussion, yeah. I'm recommending that number. Okay, we've got to start somewhere, right? Uh, you want to make the motion? I, the mo okay. I just made the motion. It's about uh, second. Okay. No. We should work from no. no, I think we'll take each section. Yeah. We have a motion and a second on the floor. We can't. I'm sorry? There's a motion and a second on the floor. What's the well, it's time for discussion then. then I, it will I think open that really each? what we ought to do is go uh, line item, not subline item, line item. What I thought we were doing. Yeah. We're required yeah. by a yeah. lot of produce line mm -hmm. items. Right. All right. Whatever. Okay. The, 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 the bottom well, line is. I made a motion. The bottom line, line is a second. function. It would be this correct is a discussion to say. On your okay. motion. Yeah. Okay. It would be correct to say to Which open. Cannot be done the without interruption. The budget for discussion. All right. Yeah. No, not, it's be but not to pass. Well, we're not going to vote this okay. minute. You might well, want to have a little bit of Well, that's the word you use. That's the word you use. So. Listen to what she said, please. All right. I don't want. Can open the budget for discussion, and that can be seconded, and then we can open up the budget and go line by line. Get a second. All right. Yes. But you got a second, so I would ask you to withdraw the motion to approve and open the budget for discussion, because otherwise you're going to go down a road to approve twenty-six million eight hundred eighty-six. That thinks that's the right road to go down. That's why I seconded it. So that's exactly what you gentlemen want to do. You yes. want to put that budget, that whole budget up as it is right now. Yes. yes. And, and, that, and I'd like to have a discussion on that. I mean, I... I you want to vote on right now? to discuss it. Without any changes? Well, what's the point in this? What I'm, I, I don't know what you're trying to do. What, what, trying to beat the clock. Well, we're, no, yeah. you well, want to go home and do with that? that? It has nothing to do with the clock. What it has to do with is a dysfunctional town government where... From, this is my first year and only year on this committee, thank mm -hmm. goodness. But, but uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, is this so? It's just dysfunctional. And I think when we're talking about a twenty-six million, twenty-seven million dollar budget, and you're three hundred thousand dollars apart, we can nitpick it and we can change here and change there. But let's get the budget committee and the selectmen and the town manager and the finance director on on board. Let's get lockstep and let's sell this budget to the town. And well, what, if we, what if we don't want to? You're well, not, then you vote no. You are the budget. Not, you can vote no. You are not, not allowing us to even discuss it or manipulate it or we change just, things we think is necessary to change. We've discussed that, this budget this for is, 33 hours with all the department heads uh, to this point that's already. That's your opinion. But My opinion is I'm not done yet. As the select So has. that is saying that every line on here you guys are okay with. That yes. That's how I feel. I'm okay with passing a that's budget. That's not making a $300,000 difference between the default budget. So we can we can go okay, five bucks out of here. There's, there's a motion. There's a second. There's this. There's a motion. There's a there's a section to pass this budget as it is twenty six million eight hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred and twenty seven dollars, and I will open that up for discussion, but not review, because of the way this this motion has been worded. Are you willing to accept amendments to the motion to? <laughs> Or increase? I think we should go around the table and, and fact on what we're doing with this particular motion as it is. Can I say one thing to defend my motion? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, please. We have in, we've in, in, interrogated or interviewed every department head. We have gone over this entire budget. Okay, it is a small increase over last year's budget. This, they have kept a very, um, as far as I'm concerned, they've trimmed, they've kept it very lean. It's a small percentage over last year's. It's only 300,000 over the default budget. And if, if you want to, I feel that we're there. We're there. We've spent a lot of time, now we're there. So. That's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, And that is your opinion. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. But I will say this. We have gone through this series of workshops with no determinations by this committee on any lines whatsoever. What we have done is we have had presentations, but we have not voted on any particular line. We left it open for this review. This review. This 
right. so I think it would be an injustice to say you that and it might be your opinion there may be nothing we can do in any Just line to change your mind there may be things in here that might even need an increase doesn't necessarily always need a decrease and three hundred thousand dollars is not a minuscule amount when a hundred and sixty thousand dollar increase got turned down a couple of years ago and we also have things in this budget that we have asked to be moved out of funds right. we have actually recommended a couple of the articles come out of the funds so that there is no mm -hmm. impact to the taxpayers yeah, so my argument with this particular motion would be to just to prove this number we had absolutely no input other than a couple of people's of opinions which you are entitled to mm -hmm. but I think in, in, the, in the process that we agreed to at the beginning we said at the end we would go through the entire budget and make our decisions then and that left all the freedom for everybody to come in and present basically uninterrupted ah. whatever they wanted to <laughs> you know you guys can make this more difficult if you want all and right we did that by design way back in yeah. Yeah. Said we, we would, all agreed to it. We, so I don't we know would listen, problem. and then at all right. the very end, we were wrong. Wrong. That's my discussion. This is democracy, so yeah. if we That's my discussion passes, for fine. no vote on it the motion it as it is out here right now. If, it doesn't, if my motion doesn't pass, then you can dissect it any six ways you want. Okay. I suggest we table this motion until we get done. Well, it's their motion. And I can't table their motion. So you're not accepting any amendments? Do you have an amendment, Sandy? have an amendment at the moment, but I'm concerned about the conservation yeah. you know, group, and uh, concerned about the welfare group, <clears throat> but I'm not, you know, I'm not throwing out a number to decrease it or increase it. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to kind of like go around the table. Well, and, that was what we all agreed to. You know, yes. Throw out what we were going to do. I agree. I mean, I have that final few. review. I mean, because you know, seriously, when I was on, and you know, I mean, I've been on the budget committee for a number of years, uh, yeah. and we all, we all, we never did it this way before, and that's fine, you know. It's however anybody wants to do it, and whatever you voted to to do the budget, but it was always whatever. If we were doing the police when they were here, we always made the amendments then. Made the Voted changements as that was occurring. Voted exactly. Line, yeah. Did the thing and then we went on to the public works or whatever. And so when they walked out the door, they knew, they where, knew where we yeah. were. They knew Well they knew where they were, but we were still entitled back then to the review. And that is what we did last year. And then when we went into review, we were I don't know what we were criticized. Mm -hmm. We made a decision four months ago yeah. unanimously and we would not vote on the line items as presented. We would reserve our motions for line items until final review. And now here we are. Oh, you're changing review. the process we have, a, last we have a motion to decapitate that motion that we've been operating under for four months. Mm -hmm. So I do not understand this motion at all. So, you have a vote that you can express that with. Well, if it doesn't pass, I can have. A, I have a tongue to express it with as well. Okay. Yeah, as you see, right, Mr. Bean. Aye, aye, sir. I don't quite understand this. Uh, you know what? It's a complete reversal from what we we set our path on in, in May or June. Really I've, got a, I've got about 15 to 20 recommendations yeah. in total. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. It's an effective well, change of the rules. Let's, let's make an let's, amendment because we go along there. Each one will be an amendment because we want to play the silly game. We'll have amendments up the yin yang. Don't, are, you, are you afraid that if we take a vote right now that it, my, my motion may pass? Am I concerned about it? I think we ought to do it the way we said we were going to do it. Scrutinize what we want to scrutinize. We haven't done that yet. You just want to I can make a you motion. say, let's go shoot to I the moon. I think it's an invalid motion. By it. well, it's an invalid motion. I don't know. I'm not I would disagree with that. I mean, I, we, we spent 33 hours devoted to, to interrogating, was a great word. The, uh, the, the department heads that have come in, um, 
was no interrogation. There was Perhaps. no attempt, Anywhere. Nick, to cut or increase while they were here, and that was the agreement back in May or June. That's what we agreed on. There was no attempt to, to adjust their budget while they were here. Let them present, let us ask our questions. We wanted to get the big picture before we come to the end or at the end. It's not entirely true. You made at least one or two attempts and you were shut down as a violation of the rule we agreed to not to change line items until final review. Right. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Was that a motion that this did? Yes, this that we do the line items at final review. That was a motion to support yeah, that. Right, that's why we're not voting on them when, you know, as they were presented. I, I don't remember that motion. I'm sorry? I think this motion that Steve has made is out of order. It's I think it's out of changing order the rules. Because you've already voted I on Voted on doing it this way. Yeah, we yeah. did. We did. You did. You voted Thank unanimously. You. Madam Chair, you, you, you make the call. You have a chairman. There's no rule that says you cannot make a motion to change the rule either. Right. Make a motion and change the rule. We'll vote Legally on that. Motion. Well, effectively, I've made a motion and it stands. Just you decide what you want to do. Is vote or not? There's a motion and a second. Uh, there's discussion and there's a vote. It's that simple. Very illuminating. <laughs> Keep it simple. Changing horses. You no, know, sometimes time. things aren't so good. Changing horses. I'd like to make an amendment. <laughs> make an amendment, Mike. Make an amendment. I'd like to make an amendment that we uh, add five million dollars to that number, and I just to, so we can get it turned down real quick and make it all real quick and easy. Okay. Wait a minute. We can Wait play, a minute. We can play no, that. No. We can play that game. Wait a minute. You say it's a rather odd number. Why don't you go ten? Okay, we'll go so, ten. And add for immediate adjournment. Hey guys, ten after eight. We've yeah. done two actions, a warrant article and some corrections to the budget. Not good. Agreed. But this is what this motion wrought. I think the chairman should... Call for a vote. Knowing what we said in May and June, that should chairman should rule Steve out of order. And we get on with it. Yep. The chairman's going to... Call for a vote. Call for a break right now. Ten minute break. Thank you, everyone. We're back from break. And we will continue. We have a motion on the floor to accept $26,886,827. As the budget for 2016, we have a second. I'm sorry, who made the second? Scott. Scott? Yeah. yeah. All those in favor? All those opposed? Motion fails. Okay. Let's get to it. Put that to rest. Thank God. Seven and five. Seven and five. How many people are here? Twelve. All right, rock and roll. All right, now can I have a motion to open up this budget for yes. discussion? I'll make the motion to open this budget for 2016. The amount? And the amount of. You need me to do that again? Twenty-six million eight eighty-six eight twenty-seven. For discussion. For discussion. <coughs> Second. No. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the vote on there. Oh, sorry. Um, do what? Well, let's have discussion on it. There's no reason to have a motion to discuss it. We always open yeah, up the budget. The budget. We're opening the budget up. There's There's no reason reason for, it. for discussion. Okay. No. So those in favor of the discussion, so we can move on. Opposed? Abstain. I abstain. All right. Going through the sections, as we've said, going along, keep notes for adjustments that you would make to the budget one way or the other right. right after all presentations had been given so let's take section each section at a time 
4130, the executive section. Are there any proposals for changes there? It's only two lines. Let me catch up, please. Looking at a total of $16,300. The executive line? Yeah, the executive under two hundred and ninety-two thousand yeah, two hundred and thirty-three dollars, which is roughly twelve and a half thousand dollars over the default. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I want to have a suggestion. We do here in the uh, budget committee. I would like to add two thousand dollars to legal expenses. That is line item 003 41304 3230 legal expenses. I'd like to add two thousand dollars, which I'll explain to the rest of the committee where it's coming from at a later date, or I can tell you where I propose to take it from. And that right now, before we get to it, because we are not to that line item, uh, I'm going to suggest we take it out of legal outside uh, services. But right now, I just want to add two thousand dollars to that line item. Okay. Do I have a second on that? I'll second. Okay. And if I understand, you want to add two thousand dollars to the executive line forty-one thirty, correct? Right. Say again. You want to add two thousand dollars to the line number four one three zero executive. No, under budget committee. Uh, no. I thought we were three. discussing executive. 3230. No, we're, the total executive, the executive is OBS section. 1, the whole page. Happens, yeah. to, happens to include the budget committee. Budget committee is a sub-line item. You brought us to 292-233. Now, okay. I, I want we're, the We're talking about all changes item. within this section. Right. I want to add $2,000 under that specific line. Okay, and that will that'll increase the total at the bottom of the line by $2,000. Make it... Uh, 294-233. And the reason for that is if it's zero, technically there's no way we can hire outside attorney in case we need it. And we have decided over the years, many years now, being on the budget May since I was, uh, I think I was elected in 2004 or something where along in there, there have been occasions where we've had a disagreement with the Board of Selectmen. And the Board of Selectmen, the town attorney works <coughs> for them. Town attorney works for the board. It's like they approve, they can fire him or whatever they want to do with him. They be he belongs to them. Even though he is the town attorney, he technically works for the board of selectmen. So if we have a disagreement with the selectmen, of course we're going to have an up up uphill battle with the getting them to approve any funds. Well, if we have a line item with money in it, we want to do something we can. That's the reason for the madness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll forward that conversation a little bit this year. We did have reason to want legal counsel. <coughs> I did request it. When I requested it from Attorney Gerald, came up with this protocol of us having to go through the Board of Selectmen for approval. However, that is not the case, as you heard, when we had the planning board in here. They go directly to Gerald. Now that was the case of when we had money in the budget and what happened a couple of, I want to go back maybe three years ago when we had a budget crunch, we, ag we agreed in this committee to roll what we had in our budget in to outside council because we felt we didn't quite have the need and we were guaranteed that should the time come that we did need to access, we only had to go to Attorney Gerald to do that. Well, it didn't play out that way this year. Okay, so call it a gentleman's agreement, call it whatever you want. When we needed it, we couldn't access it. And um, for that reason, and for the protection of the budget committee going forward, I think it's prudent to just, we're just moving it. But it also moves the authority on it, too. Um, so taking $2,000 out of outside council and putting it into budget committee doesn't change the bottom line. Right. So is that your motion as well? Yes. That's because yeah. on OBS 4, 
you'd be affecting line 3230, which is 50,000. Now that would change to 48,000, correct? Yes. Okay, so that's your yes. And two things. Change quite two honestly, things. if you had a year that the budget committee did not use anything, it would be now would be in reverse. Say the budget committee did not use its 2,000, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. had a need for additional so outside more. counsel. I'm sure you could be asked to. So you're not changing any right. bottom line. You're not changing the bottom line. Some money from one line to another. Not yet, no, but it may be changed on some other issue, but not here. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. That's about 10 hours worth of law time. I understand, Jay, but if if you have a if you don't have any money in that line at yeah. all, technically you can't spend any money in that arena at all. Okay. So if you have a dollar in there. I just made a comment, that's all. Okay. I just moved over 2,000, is, it's just a number I picked. All right, let's go. All those in favor, I'm sorry, did you have a question? Well, I, I thought we had this discussion when we go, went over our budget and we voted not to do this. So. Uh, we voted not to have uh, well, that legal was, funds. That was early on before we had legal problems and couldn't access legal funds. So now maybe some people want That's to think differently. Uh, okay, I just there was a you, vote actually. Remind everybody. There was a vote actually for the budget committee's recommendation for to their budget for the selectmen for them to make their recommendation on that number. This is a vote with regard to the budget committee formulating the budget to go to public hearing. Yeah. Two different things. Okay. All right. All those in favor? It's passed. Opposed? Bill? And abstain. Tim. All right. Also, while we're on that section, I would call your attention to the secretary wages. I know we had this discussion in the past. Right now, for the number of meetings that we're having, about 20. At the rate that we're paying, that would come to uh, 2500 So if you want to keep with this number of 1906 you're going to have to reduce your meetings. It's your call. What was the number it might be if we do the meetings? Six, five, six. 20 meetings. And I think we might actually have exceeded in this count in this round because we've added so many extra meetings for these delays. Um, hopefully you'll bring it down. And where we didn't meet in the summers in the past and people wanted to meet going forward, it depends on, on the board itself, but you've got 12 months. If you have a meeting every month, that leaves you eight meetings. All right, so what, are the, what should the number be, Madam Chairman? For 20 meetings, it's 2500 So let's put, let's put another $600 in there. I make a motion we add $600 to the secretary wages. Uh, actually, what is it, 9, 1906, why don't you round it up? Whatever. Six hundred dollars. Okay, I'll second that. <coughs> twenty-five hundred is the exact number, Jerry. Want to just change that number to twenty-five hundred? Yeah, that's what I. That's what I. That's All right. Change it to twenty-five hundred. Okay, that'd be a difference of uh, six dollars. Yeah, but it's an even number. It's an even number. Take a vote. Okay. All those in favor? Okay. okay. Opposed? Tim, Scott, Nick, Steve. And uh, Bob, you're opposed? No. <coughs> you're okay with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. Phil, you're opposed? Okay. Motion passes. All right, so revised numbers on budget committee. It's um, uh, 5,150 total. We had a 594 to one line item and 2,000 to the other. No. Hmm? Yeah, I'm sorry. We, it. we we made the budget committee secretary twenty five hundred, and the legal expenses two thousand. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah but then we still have three hundred for staff development and three fifty for okay. fifty one fifty. Okay, so yeah. what is that total then? Fifty one fifty. Five thousand one fifty. And that changes. 
the executive to um is that all the way down to the bottom yeah uh, bottom of that first page i think it's too far oh uh, okay um 297 or something like that um, what you come Right there. Oh, executive. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, 294, 827. Okay. <coughs> okay. Move. All right. Any other changes in that section? No. Nope. Okay, so do I have a motion to accept 294, 827? I'll make a motion to accept uh, 294, 827. Second. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Is that the Tim? Way? Steve? And I'm saying this for the benefit of our secretary. Yep. Scott? Nick? I abstain. And you abstain on abstention. Okay, so that number passes 294, A27 for executive. Moving on to election. Somebody move the total of 260, 326. I'll make um, that motion. Okay, seconded by Brian. Brian. Okay, discussion on this section. I had two eight on the last one. Well, you had two seven. Ready for discussion on this yet? Oh well, I have I have a uh, I have a recommendation. Uh, town clerk is looking to add another part time file clerk. Sixty eight sixty four. She's already got two assistant clerks. She wants to add another file clerk. I see all the filing in the boxes. She showed us picture. I would like to read. Uh, I like to eliminate that and bring it to zero. I think it's about time that we, we study and analyze how we do things and what we do, and try to methodize our processes, improve our productivity and processes, and stop just simply adding people when we have more work. We just add people. We don't think about how we can make productivity improvements. <coughs> so I look for productivity <laughs> improvements and stop adding people. Um, and. Um, and I, you know, scanning, microfilming, whatever it takes. What do other clerks do? Other town clerks. So you're making a motion to reduce election and registration by. I'm talking about part time wages, Tim. The, uh, they want to add a part time file clerk in here, 16 hours a week, $11 an hour for 6864 I'm dry. I would like that. Put, make 6, that 000, zero. 6864 under 4140 election and registration. I'm not going through all those counts. I spent 20 minutes. Okay, I told you where this, I was. This is under town. Four hours on subline items. I'm talking about a line item. Uh, do what you want with the line item. We're not done with the discussions. I made a motion. You have a second on that? Yes, I second that. Okay. Discussion? Except for now. No discussion. Yeah. I don't have something to say about that. Um, other towns do do this, especially when we're doing the binding and the other things that, that town clerk does. Um, you're only adding a part-time position, so there's no insurance or anything like that. Um, they've shown the need. <coughs> they certainly bring in the money. For a part-time position for just a few hours, um, I think it's going to be really helpful to the town. <coughs> so I would say leave that as is. I would just add one comment in relation to what mm. uh, Brian said. The amount of money that the town clerk brings in has nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. That's a job she's elected to do. The people are paid to do their job just like the people in public works, fire department, and the policemen. The policemen don't bring any revenue except pay maybe an occasional ticket, but we aren't basing this budget or the, any of our employees on how much revenue they bring in because that's their job. The tax collector brings in a whole lot of money. 
If you base that, you use that for a guideline, you're going to be paying her millions of dollars. So you can't even include that in your thinking. I'm sorry. You have to think about whether the town clerk needs a part-time person, yes or no. I would say nobody here is arguing whether to pay clerks millions of dollars based on their revenue income. I would say that the revenue bases the need for the workload. I think the workload is evident by the amount of revenue the department brings in. And that was proven by the town clerk when she came here. Therefore, I support Mr. Lapham and the, to leave it in the budget. Oh, we should take a vote. Well, I, can't, I have something to say about it. We saw the same picture this year that we saw last year about stacks, not that big, of filings that don't get done at the end of every day. That's how it was presented. I don't know that that was a strong enough argument that in the course of the day you couldn't find time to do those stacks every day. Of course, if you take a stack that's this big and put them in a box and let them accumulate for a month or two months or three months, um, you have a box. That wasn't keen enough argument for me, I'm sorry to start funding another position because every position we put in always ends up growing. I don't know that every person we have in town hall is spending every hour working and sometimes it takes teamwork to catch people up with their filing. I don't know if we've tried that yet, I'm, but I'm with you on this one. I, I don't think that a box full of things that haven't been filed is a reason to put another position in. I could see giving maybe $1,500 on that line to get caught up. And I don't know what, I draw the line with coming up with policy and how to reinvent what you do, but I don't think of adding a position. So I guess I'm, I'd, I'd be okay with $1,500 on that line, but not eliminating it. Well, the motion is made. Mm -hmm. Sandy? I'm not really too sure if I agree with hiring another part-time yeah. person. Uh, and maybe the best solution is to put a small amount of money in there and have a temp come in mm -hmm. and do the filing instead of Thanks. creating a position. So the temp, you're going to have a contract, so it's not going to be... No, you don't have a contract. You, have, you you call a temp agency and they send somebody over and you tell them this is what you, uh, this is all I want you to do. We might do have somebody filing. in another department mm -hmm. that might have a few hours sure. that's already on the payroll that could come in and help them just get caught up. I don't yeah. know that that, based on what I saw as the presentation being that box last year in this, um, to substantiate needing another person, I just think we could do it a different way without a new hire. Yep. I seem to remember that when she talked about bringing somebody in and that person was going to be shared in some other departments. Am I wrong? Yes. I am wrong? I didn't, oh, hear, that. Right. I didn't hear that. Steve. Yes, I did hear that. It was, it could <coughs> and, be you know, shared, but it's all yes. coming in this budget. So that's saying that it, just by that concept alone of saying, well, this person can come in and that person can then be shared. You don't need a whole person for this department. That's, where, that's what I'm saying is that I don't, I, uh, do I think they've gotten behind? Yeah. But do I think we need to create a position for that? That's my argument on it. All right. So. But I asked that specific question and it was all going to come out of whatever department she worked for. It wasn't just going to strictly come out of the town clerk. Yeah, we've heard that. I think they started doing that last year, as I recall, Brian. You're absolutely right. That's what you talked about, yeah. So just so I'm clear on what line, Jerry. It's under the town clerk. It's under part-time part wages, 007-41-401-1200. Okay. It's an elimination of 6864, throwing manpower after manpower. As the work gets too much for us. Yeah. Instead of taking a step back and okay. thinking about it. Is there a, is there a second? There was a second on that. Uh, any, second. More, any more discussion? No. There's no. All right. Vote on that. All those in favor of reducing um, that line by $6,864. Opposed? All right, so Steve, Bob, 
Bill, Nick, Scott, and Brian. You're opposed to that. Okay. All right. All right. Motion fails. Yeah, tied. Is it six six? Mm -hmm. What was it? Just let me know when it's time to raise. All those in again. favor again. I will. Did I get the wrong count? No, it's either one, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six. Yeah. It's a tie. Tie. Yeah. So, so yeah. Motion fails. I understand. It's okay. The way democracy is supposed to work. Okay. Any other adjustments to this particular area? <coughs> okay. I do have a question before we get out of this area on um, the town clerk's wages. <coughs> now on this, it includes a 9% increase to coincide with four years of 1.5 increase for department heads not received by the town clerk or the tax collector. Problem I have with that is that the department heads are hired and town clerks and tax collectors are elected and four years at 1.5 comes to 6%, doesn't it? Four and times one and a half? Yeah. <laughs> would one, be six, not one and a half, one and a half for four yeah. years, it'd be six to Kim, Right. Mm -hmm. Well, compounding would be a little bit more than that. Not nine. It would be more when you compound it, actually right. compounds. Let's see. I so approach seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also in that equation was um, a step consideration. <clears throat> along with step increase to begin comparative level salary. So it sounds like we're crossing all lines here. We're elected, we're getting what the department heads have, and now we're using steps. Bill, was that all discussed with the selectmen? Pardon me? Was all of that discussed with the selectmen? What's that? Steps for the, t the um, town clerk? I don't understand either. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't. Well, you're that saying night. that she's taking a certain percentage uh, for six years, three, six years, or whatever, and a step to get her equivalent to what she thinks other town clerks, whatever. So that's how she comes up with it. She's 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 giving herself an adjustment essentially, and then a merit yeah. to end up where she is. An adjustment and a merit. I think I saw something in the paper that she passed some some test or some continued education. Yeah. So she improved herself over the last several years. She's been continually taking uh, educational courses and updates. So that has to count for something. So, Madam Chairman, are you making a motion? No, I'm just throwing that out there. Then we ought to move on because well, why don't we why don't we make a suggestion of changing the increase? You want to do that? Well, I'm, I'm not doing it, Mike. Okay. okay. I'll make I'll make a motion instead of nine percent. I'll she hasn't had a raise in so many years. But we'll we'll give her what she said and give her six percent. Make a motion to change that number to six percent increase rather than nine percent. Is that what you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. No, I just threw it out there because I'm just confused by the configuration of the okay. lines that we're crossing. I think I'll well, let me withdraw that then. Okay. All right. So we'll move on. Oh. Can I have, um, so we have changed nothing in that section to clean it up. Can I have a motion to accept election 4140 line? Oh, this is the bottom line now? Mm -hmm. 200, I'm sorry, Sandy? No, just I'm telling him what we're, we're doing with the bottom line. line doesn't okay. change. That line hasn't changed yeah. at all. But let's vote just to accept that as right. it is. Right. What is it, 203, 242? 263, mm -hmm. I'll make that motion, Madam Chairman. Okay. Oh, you're talking. See, I'm looking at a different right. Second. Looking in the back. I'm looking at a oh, second time. I'll second. Okay. All right, all those in favor? Yes. Opposed? Sandy, Tim? Actually... I'm going to go in the opposed to Sandy, Tim, Eileen. I, I am. Okay, that's the one that I made Jerry. my motion on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Sandy, Tim, Eileen, Jerry opposed, and abstentions. Like you opposed, too. Right? Okay. Are you moving the file forward? 
Motion passes. Finance department. Finance department. Which includes MIS for those right. who are chairman of subcommittee. Finance has finance, audit, assessing, tax collector, and MIS. Okay, so that would be for a total of one million sixty-six thousand eight hundred and eighteen dollars. That's what I have, yes. Okay. Do I see anything in here? Yes. Um, finance, it goes all the way down to the next page on a, M, uh, OBS 4, and under man, MIS, I'd like to uh, uh, remove 24,000 from the 3950 on uh, new equipment, 014-4156-7400, because it's my understanding they're going to spend 24,000 on 365, which is a wonderful idea. However, on Monday night's meeting coming up, they're going to take them, they're going to rescind the MIS fund, which has 29000 some change in it, and they can use that money to pay for the uh, 365, and I suggest that we remove uh, $5,000 from <coughs> a, an additional to that same line. So I want to reduce that line item, 39500 by 29000 to leave one thousand to leave ten thousand dollars in that line. Which is <coughs> one zero one four forty one five oh six seventy four hundred. New equipment. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the I don't know OBS four. I think uh, your your ideas are good, Mike, but I don't know about the accounts. Are they right? The three sixty five line, didn't that appear in supplies and expense? Yeah, I think it's the wrong line, Mike. Yeah. I understand what you're doing, but I think you have the wrong line. Yeah. It's this sixty one hundred. Sixty one hundred. And we are, there is a warrant article to dissolve all of that, Christy? Oh, to yeah. dissolve that account? Um, is there a new warrant or, is that warrant article in there to dissolve the MIS? It's been drafted. It's been so drafted. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, we'll have to, uh, I'll reduce that. Um, oh, it's, it's, and then, and then what was left in that technology account was 5,800. And I believe you wanted to apply that to the new computer buys as well or drop it even further. Mike, before you finish the motion, let me just suggest this. There's $29,840 in that MIS account. Okay. Maybe it's, it should be time to fold the tent on that or withdraw that amount sure. and put it towards um, that subline 6100. Yeah, we'll do the 6100. I'm sorry. And reduce the 60, the 43. 520 uh, by, by 29840. What is that? 29840. What the hell is that? Oh, yes. mm. We're going to reduce the 43520, Scott, by 29840. I'll make the motion again. The motion, uh, I move that we remove 29840 from line item number. Let me get my. Uh, 6100. Uh, it's 014 4150 supplies and expenses. Yeah. And the BOS request was 43520, so reducing it by 29840. Is. Yes. I believe it's 13600. No, I mean, the, the. Mike wants to take the 24 for, for 360. From the, from the supplies and expense. Mm -hmm. You want to take more than 24, correct? You want to take the total amount of the MIS fund. Right. 29,840. Zero it out. And then pull it out of the budget. Right. 6,100. Right. So what do you want to zero out? Uh, what's the number, Scott? The MIS fund. Yeah, 49,850 is what we're taking out? Mm -hmm. 29,840. Where the heck is 29,840? It's I have 13,680. So you guys know there's no 29,840 written in there the other night when we had an account of how much was in that MIS fund that oh, was yeah. created back in the right. 90s. Right. There was $29,840. Maybe there's $841 today. It might but be eight, a little less after the market. Right. No, but that 365 line item is in the supplies and expense at 6100 So and, he, and they wanted uh, 24000 for that, right? They wanted forty three. Mike's, not right. Mike's, Mike's taking the whole amount. Taking it all out of that line. Right. And applying it to the... Right. Right. So we're going to dissolve that fund, which 
isn't doing anything. Nobody's and even that's something thought about it. Going to do on okay. Monday night. All right. With a new Warren article. So, <laughs> what's the new number now, Scott? Uh, we started off at forty-three mm -hmm. five twenty. Yeah. We took out twenty-nine eight forty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The new number is thirteen thousand six hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. okay. Thank you. So that's your that's your uh, motion, that, Mike. And then the bottom line in that total financial would be Scott. Uh, total financial would be a million thirty six thousand nine seventy eight. Seventy eight. Seventy eight. Okay. Nine seventy eight. Nine seventy eight. Yes. Okay. What and what about the PCs in uh, right. line seventy four fifty forty one five zero six seventy four fifty? There was a motion first. I, I'd like to speak yeah, on the motion. Yeah, Nick had his can. hand up before that. Um, the position of the IT subcommittee on MIS fund is to, uh, by, by a vote, non-unanimous vote, was to reduce the line items of the four lines that were compared uh, or, or kind of grouped together, which were, I believe, repairs and, expense. repairs and maintenance, supplies and expenses, new equipment, and replacement equipment. Those are all four, yeah. Reduce those to... The amount of last year's budget with zero increase to 2016. Tim, did I cover all the points in that? Yes. That was the position of the IT subcommittee by non-unanimous vote. Just for consideration. And before we mo vote on the motion on the table. Right. I'll put it another way, by majority vote. So how much would that change that line, Evan? Was part of the discussion. What was that the would rationale? change that line item by thirty six thousand nine hundred twenty dollars. But would still leave the twenty nine eight forty in the fund. Well, the IT subcommittee voted by majority vote to reduce the MIS budget by thirty six thousand nine hundred twenty dollars. That was the vote. Okay. So we, we're, right now we're taking 29840 out by get, cleaning out the MIS fund. That's one piece of that picture. If you want more, we can make a motion to have, take out more. I'm just answering the question that I was asked. But okay. you weren't rolling in the, the trust fund. You weren't rolling in the trust fund for that. You were just taking that money out. We have just some rationale on that, that yes. decision. The the. Um, Consideration of the MIS fund uh, was not a factor in the calculation. There are those, and I perceive to be a majority of the committee, uh, that believe that the planning for the rollout of Office 365 is unworthy of funding and it should be further developed. In other words, it's half-baked. So, I believe the majority of the, opinion, uh, of the committee, although we didn't vote explicitly on that, is inclined to not agree with uh, using the MIS fund for the purposes of rolling out Office 365 under the current plan, which we perceive as half-baked, or quarter-baked, or 10% baked, but insufficiently baked. We have a motion. Yeah, we have a motion. Right. We have a motion. I was just answering the question that was asked. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. We have a motion oh, for the 29840. Right. And we have a second. Mm -hmm. Who seconded? I don't remember who seconded. I may, I may have seconded. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor of that motion as it sits. Can I have that number restated? That would reduce line 6100 to 13680 and give a total at the bottom of $1,036,978. What was the reduction amount? 29840 Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which is what we By perceive. virtue of taking, rolling the yeah, fund over. Right. Right. That's what we perceive. Fund to clean out the fund. Right. Right. So in this motion, we are, we are, <coughs> the, we are funding the 360 right. in this motion. Right. As long as it However, passes the Board of Selectmen goes on as a Warren article. Right. Well, well money, if not, the money's correct. not there. That's correct. Right. That's so contingent upon we can that. only do what we can do. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, but this way, there is no impact to the taxpayer. 
right. for funds that are sitting there already. If I may, Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Christy, uh, when the IT subcommittee sent its written questions to you several months ago, we asked one of the questions we asked was how many PCs were bought in 2015. The answer was 10. Uh, at, I believe it was the last meeting you mentioned that you now have an open PO for an additional 10 in 2015, which totals 20 for the year 2015. And your your recycle plan is 20 PCs per year, so you're right on yes. target with that. You're right on target with that with the numbers of the 2015 budget. Yes. And the essential argument in the IT subcommittee was that, given the PC prices are actually dropping, that having a flat budget in MIS related to equipment would give them more than enough to continue with their 20 PC recycling program, mm -hmm. right? And so we pursued that. The other added item to the MIS was relative to Office 365, which the committee decided by majority vote uh, was not a sufficiently big plan to fund yet. We want to encourage them strongly to um, further refine that plan so that it is worthy of funding. But it's through those two elements that we derived at the idea of basically those so-called four equipment-related accounts that you like to refer to, right? To flat in those lines only. We're not touching your uh, career enhancements, your salaries. We're not touching those sublines at all. No, we touch in mileage, which is flat anyway. So, in that flattening of those four equipment line items, which were previously stated, and I can restate repairs and expense, uh, maintenance, supplies, and expenses, new equipment, and replacement equipment, totaled $36,920 reduction in the current proposal. I'm looking at this, and a simple way to clean this motion up, as it seems like there's two things, different things going on here. We need two different motions. But perhaps a different way to clean this up and accomplish the same goal. If we take, we took that $29,840 out of supplies and expenses. New equipment is proposed out there, it's $29,800. If we just move that to that line and use the funds in MIS to pay for new equipment, there's only a $40 differential. Well, here I think it's important. And then we can go on and look at what you're saying on your line for the th Office 360, 365. Well, I think this we're this trying to get a little too fine here. Yeah, yeah. This, this is well, no, because we're talking about two different things. But I know, but we're talking have about we voted on the motion yet? No. Uh, no, because we're trying, it, it, it's two different things going on. And rather than complicate what could be <laughs> a next it motion. It's so complicated. I don't know what. Well, we yeah. have. <laughs> sure. If I may. If I may. Want, to, want to just pursue your motion? Let's, let's just go ahead and do this motion. Yeah. That'll exactly. get the 2980, 40 out of the way. Yeah. That'll take care of the MIS fund and all that sort of thing. Right. Then if Somebody we want to it. reconsider more money, we can do that when that's right. finished. Right. All those in favor like of the motion as thinking. it was presented. And this, this is, this is. Remember that there's going to be a warrant article that's going to take place with this money. Right. Okay. Okay. That's the contingency thinking. All right. So we have those in favor: Mike, Sandy, Tim, Brian, Eileen, Steve, Mike, and Jerry. Opposed to this motion. Nick and Scott, and we have one abstention from Phil, but we also no longer have Bob with us. Bob has left the room, and he Bob had has left something the building. to do. Right. So, now there, are so now there are 11. Right. That passed, right? Yes, yes. that passed. Okay. All right. Any other changes in this now? Is there a second motion? Now, Mr. Jones. No. If you wish to... Uh, support the IT subcommittee's decision, you would have to further reduce this by $7,080. Tim, are you making a motion? Are yes. you, uh, Tim, they, uh, this line item dealing with additional PCs they want to buy? That's a sub line item, Jerry. <laughs> That's what I was trying to point out. I mean, you know, earlier, it's, Jerry. it's a subline item. I mean, you know. Jerry, let me explain. That's what I was trying to point out earlier. Christy has always referred to these four line items together as equipment-related line items, right? Yes. Christy, okay. 
So those four line items are all treated basically as one from a management point of view. No, they're treated that way because of the fact that they're we are doing truth and spending and um, putting things on the proper line that they should be put on. However, the budget does not reflect because of the fact that it's been a default budget doesn't reflect the changes. So that's why we report on it as 8100 800 as a total. When we go to buy something though, we charge it to the line, line that is appropriate for that purchase. Right. Unless you're operating on a default budget. Something about default budget, right. that, that answer. So, unless no. you're operating on default budget, is that what I heard right? What do we want to but do? But I get an answer to my question before I'm interrupted. I'm sorry. What is your question? Unless you're operating on a default budget, no, no, then, then you're, it's four just treated as one equipment related line item, right? I don't. In terms of, well, if there's money in that sub line item, we'll take it out of there because there isn't any other one. No. So, they're actually held solid. I think that the line that a purchase is made that it's, we consider to be a supply and expense, we charge it to that line item. If it's new equipment, we charge it to that. If it's replacement equipment, we charge it to that. All right. Thank you for saying that. Okay. So, Tim, what do you want to do now? Made a motion. Made a motion. Did not. I thought you did. No, All I stated so just was, if you wanted to be consistent with the IT recommendation, you would reduce. The MIS budget further by seven thousand eighty dollars. Do I hear so a motion? Do I have a motion to that effect? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I will since my chairman is not. Uh... Excuse me. I understood that the chairman was going to be representing the subcommittee. That's why I'm. Oh, chairman of the hesitated. subcommittee. That's oh, sorry, I, was, I got confused there for a minute. <laughs> well. Let's, the let's the dollar going. figures are different than the than what we had discussed originally. Even though the, I guess the intent is the same to bring those down to zero. So uh, due to the dollar figures, then yes, I would guess I will make that motion on behalf of the subcommittee. Okay, to further reduce. That's all you want to do, Nick. Is seven thousand, not ten or fifteen or anything. Seven thousand and eighty. Huh? Seven thousand and eighty. Whatever yeah. it was to yes. equal out last year's budget. Reduce total MIS further okay. by seven thousand and eighty dollars. All right. Okay. Did somebody second that yet? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. All those in any discussion? All those in favor of that reduction? All right. So we have Mike, Sandy, Tim, and uh, Jerry, Mike. I'm tired. All right, all those opposed to that further reduction. And let's see, that was Scott, Brian, Eileen, and Stephen. I'll abstain. And you're abstaining. I'll abstain. You're so abstaining. So again, how many did I ha do I have in favor of that article? Four, five, 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 and one. Motion passes to further reduce. <laughs> Now, what line item are we reducing further? I, I took it out of replacement equipment. I thought that's... That's a lovely place to take it. Okay. And so the new number Wait, is... Wait, 551. No, 551. No. What? It was 551. Is that what you said? It's a 551. It's a 551. It's a draw. We had two abstentions. Oh, okay. We Sorry. Nick oh, changed. So it's 542. 542. Right. Oh, okay, that's different. Right. Sorry. Right. Just to clarify. All right. Thank you. All right. Sorry. I, th I thought you said five, five, and one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry, what's replacement? Uh, I took, took 7,080 out of uh, replacement equipment, and the new number is 32,420. Say again, please. 32,420. Thank you. And the total? Total for the MIS, the revised total is 205,915. What was 32,520? Uh, 32,420 was was the revised replacement, Replace, replacement yeah. equipment. Oh, okay. Okay, and, and that total was again? 205,915 mm -hmm. for MIS. And now that we've made several changes to financial, we're all done with financial. We made two motions in this, which should have totaled 36,920. Right? Yes, sir. 
contract. What's the number? Oh, the number total for, for MIS you financing. have there, Scott, please? MIS was the, that was the 205 915. Right. Yeah. No, I mean finan <coughs> financial administration. Okay. Right. Uh, um, 1,029,898. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Motion to accept that. <coughs> Make that motion. Huh? Mike second. Something what? Yeah. That's section what do you think for one million twenty-nine thousand eight hundred and ninety. Financial administration. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. All those in favor. I have to know what I'm voting on, Jerry. Is that a problem with that? Come on, come on, guys. come on, guys. Let's opposed. move along here. Come on. Okay. Opposed. No, I'm. I'm. Okay. I'm for it. Stephen, Nick, Scott, abstentions. Bill's abstaining. So that passes. All right, moving on to legal. This is a small section. I have a. Uh, you want to move the 198875 total? I'll, I'll move the 198875 total. Second. Thank you. Can I comment on that now, or do you I want to? Like two, um, Mike yeah. seconded it. Okay. It, it, I thought it was 196 because we took 2,000. Didn't we reallocate? Right. We, haven't no, we haven't done that yet. yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Was that? We sorry. have to do that Just now got if we're going to do that. Yep. <laughs> if we're going to do that. Okay. Yep. Sorry. That's it. The other one's already done. Yep. Okay. The discussion on this one. Well, I, I um, feel that we should reduce the outside council fees from 50 to 25, which is what he had last year. And if you analyze what he had last year, it's about 25, 27. And when he was in here and we, he discussed the jump, he indicated this was kind of... Uh, Jerry, I'm only seeing 10,000 for outside council. Outside council fees, legal expenses. Guys, yeah, uh, fourth line from the bottom. It's 30, 30 3230. 50,000. 50,000. Yeah. 50, right. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. And uh, he, a couple of things that he mentioned that, that kind of struck resonance with me was that, you know, it was kind of an estimate. It was a contingency, uh, you know, uh, felt that perhaps he might need it. You know. And uh, I don't know. Those words didn't convince me. It didn't seem like we had a heavy legal agenda in the no. coming year. No. Every year, I usually. It's a open discussion. I'll, I will say that uh, that's a very uh, bad idea to reduce that. There are, are some uh, exigencies and in some initiatives, some efforts going forward in the next calendar year uh, that uh, are being dealt with by the selectmen, by the town attorney, uh, and it will handcuff our efforts to the detriment of the citizen and the taxpayer. And I would. Uh, Body. And I, I will comment uh, to that as well, though, when, when we made the assistant manager's job and outside council fees uh, was mentioned is going to be suffering as a result of this, um, and it would begin to pulse upward. This is the first pulse upward. Uh, and I've got inside dope that uh, Jerry doesn't have, and that, again, I say, uh, from a very informed basis, this is very bad. and then Nick. Okay. Total legal is minus 4.33%. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with this, with this entire legal thing. I can't believe we're changing it. It's already a minus number. So, my opinion. If you want to adjust that $2,000 that you moved over, I, I'm for that. But as far as, as far as just my opinion, sorry. Right. Nick? Um, if, if I, my memory serves me correctly, back in 2011 through 2014, or sorry, 2013, he had marked, lined some stuff under litigation expenses and not outside counsel fees. And if you look at, yes, his outside counsel fees may have gone up a little bit, but his litigation fees have gone down significantly. Like 
when, when you average them out and come up, I mean, I, I kind of agree with Steven. We're, we're looking at a negative here. Uh, it just seems to be like it's a little more uh, truth in spending reflective. It's my opinion. Two grand. Oh, 14, he spent 29.3. 29. <coughs> 29. Yeah. And, and then litigation expenses? And uh, I'm not talking about litigation. I don't see any problem with litigation, so I didn't challenge it. I'm going. I'm just going against the outside counsel. For the outside counsel. And if you look at if you look at the actual year to date, in, in 15 is 25,000. In 14 it was 20, 25,000, 26,000. And he felt that he needed 50 because he needed some comfort. He needed. <laughs> it, 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 you know, he needed I also he needed I also think bit. he used some outside services and he he put them under litigation expenses. That's why in 2011 litigation expenses 25,000 dollars. Even though outside counsel fees sixteen thousand. Twenty in twenty eleven, it was a very litigious year. That that's the problem. The problem we have with legal is we had some years when we were dealing with the utilities that we were expending a lot of money. By the caseloads, it it looks like it's really lightened up. A lot of those have been settled. Um, but the other side of it is that this is one area where we are not fully aware of everything that is on the horizon and selectmen often know things that we can't know at this point in time for legal reasons. So it's a danger to strip it down too much, um, if at all, in this area. Well, but it's well still, if that's the case. It's, uh, and, but to speaking to Stephen and it's only a little bit of an increase, I'm going to remind decrease. everybody the, bu the budget it decreased, but this, a, this. less of 1% doesn't make a big difference to me. Um, in a budget this past year, that even with the snow emergency was out there about a million dollars more than was needed. So there's a big picture, and this is just one line, but we've moved a lot of money out of this already, as you remember, into assessing. So that is a big show of a deduction right reduction right there because as some of you remember who were on this committee before that money that is now in assessing legal was in this outside council fund okay so when you have look at outside council you got to put the two of those together because that's really the big nut on the outside council um <clears throat> he also lost his assistant too only one person. Well, that has nothing to do with this particular line, Ryan. He lost this his exact assistant. line, no. No. But this is this is outside counsel. This is when he can't take care of it. He's got to go to someone or an expert in, in a in a legal field. Nick. That being said, I will refer to the default de facto expert on this situation, um, which seems to be Mr. Bean has the most information, seeing that the selectmen are privy to outside information that we do not have. He would be the one that would I would think have the best knowledge, and if he recommends to keep it at fifty thousand, I would I would have to agree with that recommendation and not change the line. I agree. Tim, if Mr. Bean has special information that we do not have, and we are the ones that have to render a vote, then perhaps it's incumbent upon Mr. Bean to share with us that information instead of holding us hostage in the state of presumed ignorance. The time for this was when the town attorney was in here. We've already stated that we spent 33 hours grilling these department heads. How much more time are we going to spend grilling people when we have de facto experts on this board? I asked claiming my time, Madam Chair. No one is being grilled. I simply made a statement <coughs> that if we are going to argue that one person in this room on this committee has wisdom and knowledge that none of us have, that it's incumbent upon them to share it with his fellow members and not simply yield to his conclusion. We're not slaves. We're not metaphysical slaves. We have brains, each one of us, individually. This is regular order, Mr. Bean. I have the floor. That's regular order. Hello? I did ask, I did ask. my time, Madam Chair. Well, at this point, I'm gonna call order in this room. Yes, fine. Please have a seat, if you would. So we can get through yeah, this. I did. I and did. I'm sorry, the, the number of hours, the 33 hours, has come up. I have to tell you, I have 33 hours this week alone in budget committee. Mm -hmm. So when you when you 
ask to be elected and serve the people. It's to come out with a budget, whatever it takes. This year has been a very difficult year. I will give you that. And I'm here in Willie. We're not done. I'm nor am I claiming we should be. my time, Madam Chair. <laughs> so, like Mr. Bean, I have special knowledge, inside information that I have not yet shared because I've been waiting for Mr. Bean to share his inside information. Is it on this line? Yeah. Can't share it. Well, nor can I share mine for that same reason. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's, I started out by saying there are some things about? in this line that we are not. Mr. Bean is not the only one. All right, let's Ms. move on. I am actually speaking on the motion, Madam Chair. Well, then let's speak to the number and let's try to stay on that. It has been re represented by those who would suggest that there's something wrong with the number in this motion that the motion maker and seconder and those who might support him are living in a state of ignorance and yet another <laughs> member has greater knowledge that cannot be shared and i'm simply pointing out that there are still another member that has other knowledge that cannot be shared that is actually supportive of this motion okay, Nothing to do with numbers. okay. yes it did I, I did ask mark when he was here what was the justification Mark indicated that it was an estimate. It's a contingency. And, you know, I may not use it. That kind of stuff. That's what I got back. I didn't get back. I'm working on this case, that case, this case, and that case. Madam Chair, may I? Mm -hmm. um, I would like to uh, make, a, uh, make a comment about this. It, it did seem pretty weak about his request for 50000 and I think I have to agree in, in my own way, a little different than Mr. Jones, that we don't, I don't like to be threatened by unknowns. That is not any way to conduct this committee. And putting that aside, though, I'll just ignore it, okay? And ignore it, period. But when it comes to this, though, we have to also consider during this motion that we need to also get the 2000 over the budget mass. Want to move forward on this? Let's take a vote on taking out the twenty-five thousand. Either we do or we don't. Let's right. put it up to a vote. All right, please. So, motion by Jerry, second. Does by the twenty-five thousand include the two thousand yes. that was already taken? Okay. Okay. About twenty-five. And um, I might add that if all the more all the um, CBAs are approved, are all of them in this year? I believe SCA has one more year. SEA has one more year that perhaps we won't need as much in the collective bargaining. But anyway, just throwing that in before we vote. All right, all those in favor of this motion? Opposed. Okay. That reflect opposed is Selectman Bean, Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve. Any abstentions? Motion passes. Six five. Yeah. Minus. I just with the understanding that that two thousand that Scott goes to the budget committee. So That's that, uh, it's already so, done up there. So technically, only twenty three is being reduced from the overall budget. You with me? Hmm. I've taken 25000 out of that line item. So that's and just as an aside. And you added two over there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And you're all set. Yeah. Just, just, as a, just as an aside. I was going to oppose this motion until someone wanted to shove fear in my face. And when okay. I do that happens, I stand up to it. Let's, let's, let's move, move on. on. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else here? Uh, and we're still on financial, right? And then legal. For clarification. Wait a minute. How would we mm -hmm. reducing this by 25000 the revised we on that, yeah, we did. We? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you said for That's clarification, okay. Okay. and then we still have a bottom line to change unless there's right. another change to be made in the legal budget. Right. Well, I would suggest uh, a brief discussion with our group that since we transferred two thousand dollars from legal expenses to a subline item known as the budget committee, mm -hmm. that we should do uh, equal justice to the planning board, which is an actual line item and transfer $2,000 from legal to the planning board. They didn't request it. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't recall the budget committee requesting it either, but... I did. Uh, yeah, we just requested it. No, you it. just moved it. You didn't request to move it. In any case, uh, I think we ought to give them equal consideration because they are equally a separately elected board, 
and are certainly due to an equal consideration of sovereignty with regard to seeking legal advice. So you want to give them the two times <coughs> out of the 25 we took out of here? I think that's confusing. I'm, I'm, only, saying, I'm only saying that it's worthy of consideration. Well, I'm not even making a motion. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Worthy of consideration when we get to planning board, right. we can bring it up again. Yeah. All right, for the idea of being clean on this. Did you have a bottom line? I have 173,875, is that? Yep, yes. 173 what? 173,875. 875, okay. I have a motion to accept that. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Okay, all those in favor? Yes. Opposed? abstaining? Bill's abstaining. All right, personnel administration. Well, personnel administration. Mm -hmm. Can I make a motion to move $3,011,645? $3,011,645. Isn't this the one where we had the big underrun last year and I gave Christy a memo last night and again this morning on that? And I sent you guys an email this afternoon, which most of you probably did not get, and where's my copy? Right here. <clears throat> I'll just read my response, but I'll pass it out to you guys at the same time. It says, at the end of December, the personnel administration as a section is under budget by $128,356. However, if you remove from this total the employee separation costs and bank buyback program, it is only under by $20,264. The reason I took these two amounts off, as they are very difficult lines to budget for since we cannot really know who is going to retire or leave during any given year, nor do we have the buyback numbers in time for budgeting. Uh, the other lines in the section is with the exception of the Hampshire retirement for fire are within a reasonable amount when you are looking at a $2.9 2 million budget. The New Hampshire fire is under budget. It can easily be explained with all of the extended leave in the fire department related to both workers, comp, and sick make. You might have already got the email. Yeah, right there. Would you like this hard copy also? Oh, it's to Sandra. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So basically, my take on that line is that it's only underspent by $20,264 when you take into consideration the two heavy hitters there, where the um, buyback and the employee separation. Uh, are we taking the buyback and the employee separation into consideration for 016? So we don't have a significant underrun there. <coughs> we have motion on that one here. I'll have a question if I might. Sure. I mean, I don't have my memo that the, I sent uh, to Christy. I didn't. Christy, the delta between the board selectmen and this proposed budget and the default budget is seventeen and a half thousand dollars. I attribute that to changes in items such as retirement, the most of it. I haven't done the math, but that's where I'm going to guess the majority of it is uh, in the benefit-related accounts because of the fact that in the default, some of the um, wage lines, as we all know, cannot be changed. So therefore, those line items are adjusted. You so can see that... The Board of Selectmen has pay, wa pay wage increases that induce an additional seventeen and a half thousand dollars in the program. I haven't done the math, but that's my top guess. Because if you look at Group One retirement, it's five hundred two thousand five hundred in the Board of Selectmen's budget, and four hundred ninety-four thousand five hundred. So there's six thousand right there. Um, this is all related to pay increases in the Board of Selectmen's proposal, right? Otherwise, or, otherwise, you default budget the light. Or it could be related to OT wage lines. 
Not necessarily pay increases, oh, I wouldn't. Wages, yeah. Yeah. So it's all wage increases yes. from the Board of Selectmen that are producing a $17,500 increase over the default. No, there was an increase in the retirement system. Sure, there? there was an increase in the retirement system. Thank you. you are well, if correct. that's the case, then the default budget is under what it ought to be. I mean, just that item, I, you're looking at the, the whole total here. I, I'm saying only that one item. I'm aware of that retirement system. These changes, yeah. It did. They changed July 1st. You are right, Mr. Pierce. Yeah. And is that change calculated in the default? Yes, budget? it is. So it should be the same. The same. Unless wages change. All of those lines are related to wage lines in the budget. Right. So because there are more wages, it's causing a 17 and a half. I will still disagree with that comment because in the wage lines is also part time wages, overtime wages, and there were changes made to those lines in throughout the budget. So it's not all necessarily related to pay increases in made pay, by the, wages. I thought wage increases, wages. I'm sorry. Part-time wages are wages. Overtime wages are wages. So I'm sorry. I thought wages. you said that was all related to wage increases and I would disagree with that Wages. Comment. Wages, yes. Are higher. <laughs> and that's what's causing the $17,500 delta between the Board of Selectmen's budget and the default budget regarding personnel, correct? Yes. Wait, it's all wage driven, yes. That's all I wanted to get clear. <coughs> now, Jerry, I assume that the twenty thousand dollars that you're referring to in your memo to Jerry's response to Jerry is something separated from that seventeen five delta, right? It's an addition to that. Am I reading that correctly? My memo to Jerry was answering his direct questions that were related to the 2015 budget underrun. I did not even look at the actual 2016 budget because that is not what his question was directly. It was in regards to the underrun for 2015. Let me talk about this. If I look at the total administration personnel, there's a 468,000 and a half underrun total. As of November. As of the, through the end of November. Correct. And you're saying that goes down to? <coughs> I'm telling you that when I look at December, which all of the numbers for December are not in. It's under budget by 128. Yes, that's what I was telling right. you. And your, most of the problem is coming in the separation costs and the buyback. Yes. And you're keeping those identical going into 016. Those have been identical for many years. They are still calculated every year. The buyback, we don't have in time for budget purposes last year I believe in 15 I would consider it to have been low if you look at 2014 the actual for that line item was $189,249 I didn't look past that so I can't tell you back how far I don't know if Scott has oh. it over there yeah. but in 2015 it was my best guess of the reason it being light was because of the fact that we had individual department heads who had paid the buyback in the past but did not we're not eligible to play in 2015 due to employment status at that time. Um, so you're, you're saying this is a low? I'm saying 2015 was a low year for that. And you also, if you look at the um, actual for employee separation costs in 2014, it was $203,100. Uh, as of 1130, it was 106533 But we did have two retirements at the end of December. I don't know if I printed that new number or not um, I don't know if that includes the retirements I do know that I have 148,000 in there but I don't think we had two <coughs> uh, two different individuals leave at the end of December so, so. you're saying that um, in your opinion in your opinion the employee separation costs and the sick leave buyback program should remain budgeted the same. That is my this opinion, year, yes. this year was a light year. When yes. you look back on previous years, I said that I didn't look back on previous years. All I can tell you is what 2014 was. And I didn't know if Scott happened to have the prior years, but it's lower. It's lower. Well, going back, 131,000, 120, and 120. But the other. The other one, separation cost goes the other way. So, you know, it's a bet. It's a in and I also will remind everyone that in regards to the balances in those two accounts at the end of year, they don't go back to surplus. They go back to the uh, compensated leave yeah. trust right. fund. Uh, yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So in 14, was 14 budgeted the same way as 15 and 16? I don't have that information in front of me. We have an actual, but we don't have it. I don't have the... I don't have the budget. I don't have the budget in front of me, so I cannot speak to in that. Your opinion, in your opinion, those two line items should stay as they have been. I know that when I was looking at these line items, I like I said, I don't have the buyback number. I can't predict that. But I did look, and I talked to the department heads. I have a spreadsheet. So when I calculate the employee separation cost, I contact each of the department heads. We look at who's eligible to retire based on their years of service and the retirement system. And then I look to the department heads and say, okay, what do you think the percentage of said employee is likely to retire? And we base it on 25, 50, or 75, or 100 percent. I plug it into my spreadsheet, and when I did that, I can say that I was very close to the 212000 I have to look at my book back there to Ms. see. Tam, let me just go down to the total. <clears throat> yes. On the default budget, you have 99, 2994, 145. Yes. All right. If we were to have to suffer through another default budget, are you going to be shot in this section? Are you going to be shot money? It's possible. Or was that default number planned the default to, num to at least cover? The default number should cover what is spent from those line items. Because in the default budget, the wages are different also. And many of those lines is what I was trying to explain before. Many of those lines, let's see, one, two, three, four, five lines, which are pretty heavy, pretty large number of line <coughs> items in that section, are related to wages. I mean, uh, just to reiterate what you just said, if you go back and look at the default <coughs> default versus the the Stuckman's budget, it's they're di the wages are different. So th this section is going to be different. It's not, you know, it, unlike insurance, it's not going to be the same because there are what's driving no, it. No, but I'm thinking it should be the same. No, it shouldn't be. No, because, because the wages, the wages are the different in the Selectman's budget than they are in the Only 17K default. It's only 17K. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not going to be the same. Wages will be the same. Wages cannot be the same. Right. No, wages aren't the same. Right. No. That's the point. Wages will be different. Wages are higher in the Selectman's budget. Right. Okay. So do we have any motions on this section? No, I don't. Other than to accept the default budget. I think I didn't have the benefit of December, and it does close the problem down quite a bit. Okay. And she's saying that she has looked at these numbers, and Okay. All right. So, can we have a motion to accept the three million? Can I just point out one thing before you do that, just so you guys know? Oh, come on, we were on a roll there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need to point it out because it's only fair. I just want to remind everyone that in this section is Social Security, Medicare, and retirement. All of those lines are related to wages. So any changes that you, as a committee, choose to make in wages in essence changes numbers in here so the line item for the budget committee secretary has added some additional money i'm just doing quick math here so i Understand. never like to say that it's golden math mm -hmm. um i did use a calculator though so it's pretty accurate but it was 36 dollars and 83 cents for social security and eight dollars and 61 cents for medicare and likewise we moved the town clerk so that will lower it right? You didn't do anything in the town we clerk. I don't believe. Well, we, in the added a, we added a. Uh, did you do? Added something? a fire to secretary. We took. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you take the wages out of the town clerk? If you did, no, then. No, 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 we did not. Okay. Do the clerk for the sorry. town clerk. Yeah, the the part time mm. position. Right. I thought it didn't little, pass. Right? I'm sorry. If it, if that passed, then there would be an additional. We took out the, the no, we took out the part time. That's right. So that will cause it to go down. See, they're saying it didn't pass, so I don't know. Failed. It was it was it was an even vote. So the motion failed. Oh, the motion failed. Okay, motion failed. Oh, sorry. you're right. That was the lead off. Okay. So, Eileen, the only thing I would point out to the committee is if you change any so further sorry. wages going forward. So I don't ever want to encourage anyone to table anything, but this might be one of those sections that you as a committee do wish to table because if you reduce any wages or increase any wages, because I know you can go either way, right. any in any other section of the budget, yep. and you've already voted on this number, then we're you locked into I that. Prefer if right, it's no okay with everybody, I prefer time, to keep it clean going through. Well, that's up to you as a committee. I'm just making we'll a recommendation or right. a suggestion. Rather than not <coughs> pass the section, they get lost. You want to go ahead and vote on this or not? Yeah, let's, let's just clean okay, this up. I'll move uh, 3 million, 11,645. Uh, okay, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? If we have to come back, we can always come Abstentions. back and change it. Oh, the other Wait a minute. Uh, I have 
selectman Bean, and I have Tim as abstention. Sandy, I didn't see your hand. You were <coughs> yes, no, or I'm in favor. You're in favor of it. Okay. All right. So that motion passes. Going on to planning and zoning. I might add, though, Oops. I sent you an email, Christy. It had a lot of wages, a lot of areas, but a lot of wages. Right, and in your email that I, in your response back, I let you know that okay. um, I did have to send those questions on to the departments because I don't make their budget. Okay, fine. And fine. I have asked, I've sent them on, and I've asked them to get back to me so that I can compile answers to get back well, to I you mean, guys. We can't, I can't approve, I can't get to an approval stage unless I know what's coming back from those answers mm -hmm. okay. on wages. Wages and part-time wages. Well, we still have friends. That can be maybe mixed. All right. Planning and zoning. Someone want to move the 145 470? I'll move. Second. All right. Any discussion in this section? No, I don't have any. I don't. Anyone else? No? I do believe that we should treat them as a separately elected board. We believe that our sovereignty is necessary to be sustained by having $2,000 in the budget committee's expense for legal. And that would be true for all of the other elected boards and committees. You know, this is a dollar. Yeah. And they are, in fact, this both the planning yeah. and the zoning are separately elected boards. Legal expenses? Illegal expenses. Requested one dollar. Right. Administration right, I love one dollar. Rather than close down the line. Yeah. Right. Here's give, the thing. We should give them two the thousand. Like board, we gave ourselves. The planning board did not face the obstacles we did. They went directly to the town attorney. Mm -hmm. and got what they needed. Mm -hmm. They did not. We're putting that in there because we had a problem. Right. And they were able to access what they needed. They also did not request it. And we opened up that discussion, I believe, while they were here, when we were questioning how they went about accessing the funds. So while I hear what you're saying, Chip, in line with the budget, they didn't ask for it, so. I made, mo I made no motion. I okay, just made a just statement for observation. I realize I okay, stand I'm alone in, being, in giving equal treatment to the various elected boards. Okay, thank you. Any motions in this section? Other than to accept the 145 470? No? All those in favor? Aye. Mr. Bean? Abstain, please, ma'am. Mr. Bean abstains. I'm, Tim? Yeah, I abstain. I'm in favor. Tim Jones abstains. Everybody else is <coughs> yes. So that passes. <coughs> All right. Government buildings. So I'll move 102,674. <laughs> Second. Let's go. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, I've got I got one comment. Okay. Heating fuel. I looked at heating fuel. Spot out for me anyway. Um, through November, I annualized it. It was seventy four hundred and fifteen dollars. I looked at eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. The average was eight eighty three fifty seven. They're asking for thirteen five twenty five. I recommend minus four thousand. Okay, so to bring that down to 90, um, I looked at, uh, again, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 annualized. <coughs> and I think they're at least 4,000 over in the out of Okay. At least. So that's that a motion? That's a motion. It's a motion. I'll second. For discussion, that's for sure. All right, seconded by Mike. Discussion? Anybody? Nope. All right. All those in favor of reducing that line? We'll go for it. We'll go. Okay, so that would be Jerry, Mike, Eileen, Mike, Second. Sandy, and Tim. All right. For the record, um, all those opposed? Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve? And Selectman Bean. Okay, motion passes. <coughs> so here, pass? here we go with the math. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, the math. 98, 674. Scott, you keep track of that? Yep, I'm good. 
the a manual list in this one. So okay. we're good. Yeah, the revised number is 9525, that line item. All right. And the section is 98674. 98674. 98674, yep. Thank you. All right. Motion to accept 98674 as the total. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. <clears throat> All those in favor? Mm -hmm. Of accepting 98674. Yep. Opposed? All right, Steve, Nick, Selectman Bean, and Scott, and Brian, you and uh, I approved, yes. You approved of it? Okay. So four opposed. <coughs> All right, moving on to cemeteries. Somebody uh, move the 122467. Second. Okay. Discussion. Any discussion on Madam this? Madam Chair, yes. I see that it's a 0.01% increase. I <coughs> yeah, let's just vote yeah. on it. Let's not beat the dead up. There we go. I, but that's up to the that's up to the chair to call for a vote. Yeah, you know, this is they don't have enough of what they need anyway. But I agree. Steve, when you do, when you do zero based budgeting. You don't care where they were last year. Yeah. Every line item stands on its own two feet every year, and you got to justify it. So I don't care what it says for percentage. I, don't, I ignore it. Yeah. Now, their expenses are so minimal that we we are gifted by the people that we have Wonderful in the people. cemetery. Um, I have no discussion. For any want to adjust his salary? I think we should. He does not I mean, He never asks for anything. If you didn't ask, I don't think we, we should be tight. Well, that's, you don't ask. do business like that. We, we did do it a year ago, didn't we? If he asked for I think he didn't ask for anything. What is, I think we did it last year. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think we ought to give him. I, I like your, I, I'll make a motion where he increase his wage by 2%. Uh, well, well, everyone else is getting 1.5. <laughs> I got to hold the line that, that, it, that if it's not asked zero. for, I mean, when it comes to increases, if it's not asked for, and yeah. I know it's tough with him because he doesn't ask for anything. Never asked for anything. But he then that ask for medical, and but someone if, had a fight for to get him. Yeah. For if we if we business. if we do that, then it's like we're. Picking and choosing, and we're recommending. Um, and no, he's just, quite, yeah, he, it's just like oh, the town work. Right. Tax collector. They don't. They don't. Get, they're not in on a party. Right. Quite right. honestly, that's something the town manager should <laughs> in the review. I'm okay. I mean, I, I thought I'm it was okay. a good idea. Yeah. The trustees. But for anybody watching, Denny Kenny is is worth far more than we're guy. paying him. Yeah. He's worth every penny. Plus. Um, Worth any penny, but you don't want to give another penny. <laughs> he didn't ask. He didn't ask her. If he asked for it, well, you're right there. Different. Matter of fact, I, I put up the subject too. No. All right. So no changes on this. Yeah. Motion to accept it is there. Um, all those in favor Aye. of 122,467. Aye. Opposed. Nobody. Abstention. Mr. Bean. Oh, I'm the new You're the new Thank you. All right. Municipal insurance, we already did that. Yes. Are we accepting those numbers? We already did. We, we already did. They're all fuzzy wuzzy. We're accepting them as is, as presented. Fuzzy wuzzy, yeah. Well, how are you going to change them? I, until you get the numbers, you can't. I believe we did that already tonight. Yeah. We, all right. We, if did. we did. We did. We did that already yeah. tonight. We did that. We accepted that. I don't know that we voted on it. I don't think we did. I don't we, did, we didn't yet. vote on the approval right. as part of the budget. Yeah. We accepted writing the numbers. I'll make down. a motion right. to. I don't think there's any problem with the numbers. I'm just saying we did Three million nine hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars. Yes. Motion by motion. Stephen. Yes. Second. Seconded by Mike. Mike. Okay. We already discussed it. All right. Yeah. And I All do those believe in favor. there is a problem with the number. Do I'm we sorry? call what it is? Hmm. I do believe there is a problem with the number. As it was calculated, we got an estimate, and then we added 25% to the estimate. <coughs> that 25% is... Uh, Pretty hefty. Well, it's not necessary at all. Because if the estimate turns out to be light, thus we need more money, other, other money can be had. 
we have the unassigned fund balance that can be tapped into with the approval of the budget committee. Uh, so it's not like, you know, the sky is going to fall down and we're going to lose our insurance if, if the estimate is not accurate. There's no reason to build fluff into every number just in case it's too low. 25% is a significant fluff. You know what, I would argue, because I would argue it now. Um, if these were hard numbers, but this is un unfortunately this is going to be revisited at deliberative. Yeah, right. Right. And we're still not going to have a solid number deliberative, are we? Where our goal is to have a solid number at deliberative, is a little what we said. Uh, I heard something about April. No, no, no. Yeah. no she's going to try. She said. She's going to try. Yeah. Yeah. We may have something about a contract specifying April. I said in April they will relook at the run rates to make sure that the quotes that they have given us. So we basically you just want to leave this open until the deliberate session? Is that what you want to do then? Well, I want to end up with a number on the budget and we're not going to have a number on the budget before Thursday <coughs> if you don't come to terms with this because you're not going to get the insurance number until deliberative. Right. So unless you want to change this by some equation, I recommend <coughs> that you either change it or accept it so that it can go on so we have a final well, number in the budget that can be amended it, at it, deliberative. It, it is my individual view that we don't need to add anything to it. 25% should be removed from the calculation. Mm -hmm. However, I do understand the, the other side of the argument and if you buy that argument then, I'm, then that begs the question, <coughs> what's magical about 25? Why don't we do 30? Because we had I mean, need why, to come up with How did something. you come up with 25? Did it fall out of the sky and from heaven or what? Nope. <laughs> it didn't fall out of the sky from heaven. I spoke with one of the um, agents that we are working with. Fred and I actually had a very high number in our mind because what of what we were hearing. We were, from what we were hearing in regards to other insurance coverage compared to PLT, the rate increases were supposedly going to be significant, like 50%. 50%. Okay. okay. I spoke to an agent who has been working with other, other municipalities, and he said that he cannot recommend any percentages because he doesn't want to give me false hope or false information in regards to his quote, because I didn't have his quote at the time. He had said that what he was seeing in the market was about 25% of an increase. And so that is where we came up with the 25%. <coughs> okay, so there we go. Somewhere between 50 and 25% is the magic number if you want to have fluff added to be sure, kind of, kind of sure, that we're not underfunding. Somewhere between 25 and 50%. I don't think we need to add anything at all. I stated my reason why, but that's, I think, some more full consideration of the argument. Maybe we should be the difference about 37.5%. Well, let me ask you, how much of the contract needs to be reviewed, if you will, or finished up on? You know what I mean? If, if, if 80 or 90% of the, of, the, of the insurance is understood and 5 or 10% is left to be developed, if you will, or they come back to us. I don't have an answer to that because I'm not an insurance professional. I know that when you are dealing with pooled insurance as opposed to private insurance. There are different guidelines that the um, agencies have to follow. One has to follow the insurance law. Is that what it's referred to as, insurance law? Or? Well, it's a regulated industry. Regulated it? insurance law, and the other, the pool does not. So there has to be a comparison of the two coverages, and it hasn't been done yet. We just got our other pool this week. Let's roll with it. Let's, There's work that has to be done on this situation, so you guys need to, I mean, you guys can do what you choose to do. All right. Let's roll with it. So the motion is for $3,949,133, is that correct? Right. Second. That's the motion. Okay. And second it. All those in favor Aye. of putting that number through? <coughs> opposed? Okay, opposed, Sandy. I know you don't feel too clean to attend. Phil, where are you on that it's one? In the affirmative. In the affirmative. Okay, so we have just two negative and no abstentions. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Moving on. Parking administration. I have a motion to accept nine million. No, oh, wait, uh, I'm sorry, seventy-five. 
thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, I'll make that motion for you, Madam Chairman. Okay. Second. I'll make second. I'll, I'll second it. Jerry seconds it. Seventy-five five five zero. Mm-hmm. This is our general government. Yeah. I don't think there's any discussion. Yeah, I think that that number's reasonable based on the increase of what's going on with the parking. Um, it's exactly the same as a default for those who want to know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I looked it over. It, it's. Yeah. But it's very little more than it was last year, and, and we it's all it's all wages. You know. yeah. It's all wages. They they do more events. Don't so. sweat it, Steve. One and three quarter percent. No. Okay. All those in favor? Right. Mr. Bean. Thank you. Unanimous. Madam Chairman, I move general government uh, nine million two two five nine three twenty five. We need a correction. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Sure. No. Not a line. You've made adjustments. Oh, it's changed? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what's the question, Member, sir? The new, the new number is 9,161,864. Okay, I'll mo make a motion mm. for 9,161,864. Second it. Or Brian Steve. seconds it. <laughs> All those in favor? I don't remember where we are. Where we are. Hands up. <laughs> those who approve this number. Here. What the hell's going on? Is everybody here? Yeah. Okay. The number's approved. For general government, yep. nine million dollars It's nine million one sixty one. Yeah, one sixty one. She's in one fifty one, I think. Eight six four. What was that? Nine million one sixty one. That's what I yeah, that's what I thought I heard. I'm right. Right. I thought you said yeah. one fifty one sixty one. It is one six one. One six one eight six four. Eight six four, right. How did we end up more when we took money out? Yeah. What? No, we, we were the, the the selectman's budget was nine million two twenty five one ninety. Right. And we've taken out sixty three thousand three twenty six. I think what you were looking at Perhaps it wasn't adjusted. The insurance wasn't adjusted in the note. Okay, um, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the whole yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. need to call for another for the vote. Okay. So nine million one hundred sixty-one thousand eight hundred and sixty-four. I made the motion on that. Okay. Yeah, you did. Right. Just want to make sure. We all voted. yes. It's been seconded. Did we vote? I yeah, we did. Not, I did not vote in the affirmative. I didn't need the. We voted. All right. So. I'll do it again, Eileen. Yeah, hey, I want to vote. I don't see anybody's hands. Okay, right? I'm, appro I'm, I'm in favor of it. You're taking a vote now? Okay, I'm in favor. Right number, the wrong number. It's Come right on, number. Mike. It's 9,161,864. I know. You have to vote for it. All right. Good enough. A vote. <laughs> Good enough. All right, so Mike, Sandy, Brian, Jerry, Mike, Eileen. Opposed? Nick, Scott, <coughs> Steve. Abstentions? Voting Tim? Against. Voting against? Okay. Oh. Three against. Okay. Four. Four, four, four against. Four. Four against. Oh, four against. Okay. All right. Police department. Mr. Policeman. Give him what they want. Going to the bottom line. Total police department. Christy, is that yeah. still three million nine hundred eighty thousand four hundred thirty-eight dollars? That's the board of selectmen's amount. Yes. Correct. Moved. Second. A second. Moved and seconded. Yeah. Okay. No question about the police department. In no. case you're interested, it's up over the default by $59,159. <clears throat> I have no questions about this. No I questions this about anything? No. I see this line in the case of the operator. I, I had some questions on the electric. Okay. But after some investigations, plus a memo from Christy, I'm comfortable. He may be a little hefty there, but I'm okay. You can actually vote in this. Okay. We pretty much exhausted this. <laughs> and in the affirmative. This with, the, um, with the police department. Okay. All right. So 3980438 and it was moved by me, believe it or not. Tim? Seconded by 
I might have. <laughs> All those in favor of moving. Unanimous, okay. Fire department stole three million four hundred twenty six thousand four hundred thirty five dollars, Christy. Three million four twenty six two thirty five. So moved. Second. Second. For those who want to know, it's seventeen thousand twenty dollars over the default. What was that number again? Three million four hundred twenty six thousand two hundred and thirty five. Thank you, Mr. Jones. You do that so well. Yes. Right. This is, I view, as another no-brainer. I hope you all unanimously agree. No. Nope. That's sad. Uh, all right. Anything on this one, Mike? <coughs> yeah, I have what might be for Yeah, I have a problem with the overtime callback. The overtime callback is is the last four years average was fifteen thousand one eighty nine. Annualized through November, he was ten thousand three forty. Comes in asking for fifty two three ninety four. I recommend uh, any you know he, he talked about buildings burning and if we have any big fires on the beach you know it, it'll just blow that line it just hasn't in the last five years. So I looked at the eight block fire we had back in 10, 11, I think it was, and um, it was in uh, two thousand and ten February of two thousand and ten. And I looked at that year's old time callback, and it was 36,411, far from the 52. So what I did is I I thought about it, and I would give him, um, I would recommend 25,000 for that line and drop his account by 27,394. I'll second that motion. So he's getting a boost from where he was based on what he said. But I wasn't totally comfortable in doing it, but I'm willing. I'm willing to give them a little bit, and but not the fifty. Okay. Two. So you're willing to put how much in that line again? Uh, I'm willing to put twenty-seven three ninety-four in there. You, you said take, twenty. You said twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five. Like no, 25. Re recommend twenty-five thousand and drop the account by twenty-seven three ninety-four. So he's going to get a big bump there. He's. You know, he hasn't you spent any. To an even twenty-five thousand after you remove the extra. Yes. Okay. I, just, I mean, it, it's it's. Uh, he, he's never spent more than the last five years. He's never spent more than fifteen thousand. I said I was just confused on the numbers. It cost thirty-six. In five years, he's never spent more than fifteen. Yeah, fifteen one eighty-nine. And he's annualized about ten grand this year. But he, he made an argument about what it really takes in some instances, a uh, double decker or a triple decker, and if he goes to the beach and so on. And he and he came in. Probably was his best estimate, which was 52, which I think he was throwing darts. Okay. Uh, but I gave him, I recommend that we drop it to 20. Any other discussion? I think you're kind of throwing darts here because I don't understand where, why you're cutting this. I just said it. The history. The last five years. The last five years were the history. And then. And you went back even to the uh, big storm we had on the, no, I mean, the farm, A block. Bhutan call back in 2013 was 55,000. Nope. I'm sorry, 52,394. No, I've got 19,805. No, overtime call back and fire with suppression. Fire with suppression. He's annualized out at 10,000 this year, thereabouts. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd have to go find him. Find him now. So he annualized out at 10,000 this past year, and we're doubling more than doubling. Yeah, we're giving him 25. He wanted 50. He, he wanted that last year too, yeah. but he didn't get it because of the uh, default. But he didn't use it this year. That. We have I something mean, catastrophic. Sure. 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 It has. Um, 13 he did. Look, what's that number? Is 13 it I, I looked at the last four years and it averaged out 15. This is the budget. It's the budget this year. 52,000. So somehow we. 13 we did. 52,000. Oh, so the, the, the actual number has been. Yeah, he may have, he, he may have got. 50, yeah, the highest 13, one was the A block. Oh, come on. That's Brian's got it in his hand. I'm just asking that. Brian, you got that mixed up with the actuals. I mean, but uh, budgeted, not actual. Right. 
Yeah, the that only, never was that high. The only, yeah, it's budget. The only yeah. actual is 2012. So since you, we've got that one in front of us. Um, God has the actuals going back about 100 years. No, from 1460. 2011, 18,690, then 15,000. 2014 was 69,50. Yeah, 19,605. 13, 14 was 69,54. 15,508. The rest was all budget. 2014 actual was 69,4. 69,550. Let's go. Yeah, not by expense. It was, it was the budget itself. All budget. For that year. I'm looking actual. Yeah, yeah we're looking no, at actual. Right. Not, that, was the, that was the budget, but we, not the actual. That's the budget. No, this was the default. It yeah, was the default, default budget. budget but not, that's what we got passed. But not the actual. Not the actual. Spent. We're going by what he spent. Okay, thanks. We got that cleaned up, I think. All right. Anybody else? No. Let's take a vote on that. Oh, wait a minute. Do you have anything else on this? No, that's it. Okay. Reduce it by twenty-seven thousand three hundred ninety-four dollars. Okay. Leave twenty-five thousand on that one. It being. It being the overtime, overtime callback in the fire department. Right. Yeah. That's uh, forty-two two hundred two fourteen sixty. Right. By twenty-five grand. Right? Twenty-five to reduce it twenty-seven thousand. What's it? Twenty-seven. We're reducing it twenty-seven three ninety-four. The new number would be twenty-seven three ninety-four. No, the new number is twenty. The number is twenty-five thousand. We're reducing it. I know, I know, I know. He's getting twenty-five, but we're reducing it by twenty-seven three ninety-four. Oh, you're reducing it by that? Okay, I thought you were going to take. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So it's a little more than half. Cut it now, almost in half. A little bit more than half. Okay. All those in favor? So Mike, Sandy, Tim, Eileen, Mike, Jerry. All those opposed? Selectman Bean, Nick, Scott, Brian, and Steve. Five. 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 Motion passes. Six to five. Thank you. What's the new total on that? Five. New total is two billion four hundred and forty four thousand three hundred and forty six. Thank you. I have some more recommendations, Madam Chairman. Okay. Uh, equipment replacement. Alrighty. Which uh, one? It's uh, 42202 7450. Okay. That line for $17,800? Um, it was. Seventeen eighteen hundred. Right. Seventeen eight hundred. Yeah. Um, no. What account? He's asking seventeen eight hundred. Right. Mm -hmm. Minus twenty. Minus forty eight hundred. One from last year. He's asking. But what's his minus forty eight hundred? That's what you. Uh, what we uh, talked uh, about earlier today. Uh, yes. Hang on now. Uh, mm, trying mm -hmm. to determine what I. I, got, I may have had the replacement equipment and the replacement others swapped here a little bit. Well, the new equipment, you just, we wanted to adjust that one also. Well, the new equipment is adjusted to zero, so what do you really want to take yeah, it to? No, and equipment other, the 14168. Yeah. Okay, we want to reduce that by uh, 1168. Oh, yes. And you want to reduce it to what? Reduce it by uh, one, one, We six, want to eight. drop out 1168 and allow 13,000. Right. And the r rationale on that? Okay, last four years average was 12,740. This year he was 7665 year to date through November. Yeah. He's asking 14,168. I think that's an to that. Okay. okay, fair enough. Right. How about the next one for 17.8? You want to reduce that by almost five grams. Um, 4,800. Which line, Mike? I'm sorry. Okay, that's 024-422-02-7450 replacement equipment. It's the bottom line. No, that's been reduced, too. Yeah, that's been reduced. Well, it's been reduced by 1,000. 
Last year was 25. 360. This year, 17, 8. Yeah. And the default is even more than that. So I think that that's. Just in the topic. The default's 20, isn't it? Let me know when to vote. Yeah. The, this this article, this this line item, replacement equipment, had an encumbrance against it of twenty four six fifty, and a budget of twenty five three sixty for a total budget of fifty thousand oh ten. He spent zero. The last four years average was ten thousand two fifty three. Highest three years out of the four was twelve thousand seven sixty seven. You know what though, Jerry? What? I'm not gonna I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is one of those areas that I bet if you really got into it, it's one of the areas that you hold back on when you you pinch in that budget tight. Yeah. Well and I I'm like, only I mean I don't know that. You wasn't allowed to do a lot of things because of yeah. the default. You know, wasn't we, it? we you think, you think. I don't know that. We heard that as a recurring. Yes. It's like sometimes the nature of the line items themselves, um, that's what they hold back on and wait till the end of the year and hope that there's money left over to, to do okay. this. Okay, so. let's go with the last four years average, though, of 10 to 53. But that's why I'm saying I can't look at the averages on that because I'm not sure what was needed to be held back on. The we've last had, four years? We've had default budgets. Hold the line. No, the line of the 13 was 14 is our first default. We have the 13 passed. Yeah, so for, they're 14 and 15 were default. Yeah. Let's so, think about that. Let's and, think about uh, it. I don't think so, it's a lot of money. It's one piece of equipment. He's asking for 17.8, and I recommend that we take out like 4,800, something like that. Yeah. Let's think about it. Move on. All right. So you want to take out how much? What's the number? 4,800, that would drop up to 13,000. 13? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Moved by Jerry, seconded by Mike. By Mike. Mm -hmm. All right. All those in favor? All right. Mike and Jerry. All those opposed. <laughs> okay. Everybody else. All right. And let the notes reflect that Steve left at um, 10:05. Okay. So we now have 10 people. Okay. That did not change our total at the bottom that um, Scott gave us earlier. So we're all set. What was that number? What was your that was two four 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 three forty six, right? Yep. What? Two million four hundred and forty four thousand three forty six. Mm -hmm. what? Wait a minute. Are you lost? No, uh, we're you're you're looking at fire suppression. That's yeah. not the total. Right. Fire no, we're looking right. At That's the one we just finished. No, not fire suppression. We're looking at total fire department. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 total fire department. Three million four twenty six two thirty five. I'm sorry, but. Unless there's any other questions. Oh, I have other things. You have other oh, things? Yeah. Okay. Now, he's got training budgeted for 35653 And uh, 015 year to date was 10346 mm -hmm. The last four years, he averaged 16780 Now, he did, he did delineate this uh, live fire training which creates two teams. Which he had a warrant article in the two, and it, that got pulled and disapproved. So I don't know. I'm going to have to. I'm up in the air on that one right. because if the live fire training is baked into that thirty-five thousand six fifty-three, I'm okay. If it isn't, I think it's high. And I, I think, and I don't know who to ask. Fred, maybe, or Christy. Christy. Somebody's on page to, 29, I didn't make this budget, but on page 29, oh. it, it is all broken down. Yes. And the only thing I see that says fire training drill yard fees is only 1500 That's But I mean, it's broken down on that page. I, I don't want to answer for the chief in regards to. On page 29? You know. Mm -hmm. 29 is the breakdown of all of the lines yeah, that make up that. Yeah, training and song. recruitment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you see there, there's the largest line there is thirteen thousand and fifty. But there's a big part, there's a big paragraph here. Big fire part. training, live fire training is a group level training okay. under simulated conditions. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And and I just don't know how much how much of that. Thirteen thousand. Yeah. Seminars and schools forty five at two ninety each. The one that you're talking about there, Jerry, is that thirty three oh oh twenty eight. That covers those two paragraphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
3028 has a lot of different things in it. Yeah, but it totals down for a total training of 35,653. Uh, but you're right, 33028 is mm -hmm. is the the, um, the actual training. Yeah, right. yeah. 33028. So, again, I think my statement's the same. If it includes that live fire training, I don't think I have a problem. <coughs> the warrant article did get pulled and disapproved. So... I'm gonna. I guess I have to leave, leave it there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. For those. Vehicle maintenance. Yep. Vehicle maintenance. Where the heck that is? I don't know. OBS uh, twelve. Thirty. OBS twelve. Yeah. Third line down. Yeah. I, here, this is one. Uh, he's asking one hundred twenty-one five. 2015 was defaulted to 110500 for a budget. Initial rec was for a 121500. Mm -hmm. Year to date through November, annualized was 91808, and he had to set some generator out for work repair. I don't know what that yeah. cost. Mm -hmm. Last four years average 103. Let's call it 104, 103.8. Default of 110500 looked good to me and remain, should remain. <laughs> so I would recommend cutting 11,000 out of here and sticking with the default number of last year 1105 you want to make a motion 1105 is 1109 1109 1109 yeah. <coughs> you want to make a motion yep i'll make the motion somebody second it i'll second it okay Put that's for the discussion trucks are getting a year older uh it's always going to be more I mean, you're talking serial ladder trucks, four pumping engines, three ambulances, one light utility, five staff vehicles, two boats. Another year is another added group of maintenance, and that's, I don't have any specific figures. It's just for consideration. Mm -hmm. Until we get a wash down facility and a few other things, we're going to have this maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those in favor of this motion? All those opposed? All right. And abstentions. So, 8 to 2, the motion fails. Uh, on building maintenance, I can only make this comment. He's asking 28, 7, 20, and I, don't, I didn't touch it. However, I did see some suspicious things in here that are recurring. And I'm just wondering if we ought to go about our way, go up our methods, or take it on ourselves. For instance, floor maintenance is occurring every year. Overhead doors are every year getting something done on. Ducts and drains are getting cleaned every year, 33600 And the high-voltage AC system, supposedly a brand new one, 8000 a year. And I'm just wondering if we should bid that out or something. So there's, recurring, there's some recurring expenses occurring here, making up this 287 which I would push on if I was the town manager and I'd push on this and see if the HVAC checkout every year is really that costly, 8000 a year. Or can we get somebody um, as qualified supplier to do it for less? And is it necessary a brand new system to do every year? Ducks and cleaning, ducks and drain every year, 3600 mm -hmm. And uh, floor maintenance, what, is it that, what does that consist of? Every year? And overhead doors and every year. So... There's some things that are appearing in there that look to me like they're pushable. I didn't touch the 28720, but if I was the manager or director, I'd be pushing on it, which I'm not. Peer maintenance is the next one and my last one here. But this is going to be nickel and diming. He's asking for almost 5000 and we've never spent more than 2720 last four years. So I recommend it taking fourteen seventy five out of there, but if that's nickel and diming, that's what it is. It's pure maintenance. You gonna make a motion? Year year to date analyzed it about eleven hundred. So yeah, I'll make a motion to second. The... <laughs> Give them thirty five hundred. Mm -hmm. Takes fourteen seventy five out. Motion second it, Madam Chairman. Okay. Any discussion? No. 
vote. All those in favor of this article? I think these people are petered out. <laughs> well, I want to go home. With my ammo. I, I, I think, I think they've exhausted themselves. Opposed? That's it for me on fire. Okay. Opposed? Yep. No abstentions? Okay. Eight to two. Motion passed. On the bottom line, it's in Alrighty. So, now, that bottom line. Okay. Turn bottom line. Fire department. Fire department. Uh, let me get it. Let me get that. <laughs> All right. Um, the, uh, the revised total is three million three ninety eight eight forty one. Okay. All right. Motion. I'll make a motion. That? Yeah, I'll make mm -hmm. that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Madam Chairman, do you want to call it? Yeah. For tonight. I, well, wait I think let's finish are... let's finish the vote. All those in favor? Yeah. Okay. All those opposed? Mike, Scott, and those abstaining. Selection B. Is your hand up, Tim? I voted in favor. Okay. All right. Yeah, Motion passes. Seven. I've got a lot to say about DP so it, it, We just can't do it tonight. These guys are shot. Whose guys? I'm just a dirty dog that keeps moving like a dog. Okay. You know, got shot. I don't. I'm, I'm, I don't. Yeah. I don't quit. I'm, I'm like a junkyard dog. <laughs> just, we just have two opposing views, <laughs> and I got myself painted in a corner a little bit. You know, I, I believe in the whole budget, yeah. and so now to vote, you know, in favor of pulling it apart, I'm, I'm not going there. So, but I'll keep track of it, and I'm with you. I mean, you know, you're doing a hell of a job. You are one hell of a good. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to